Welcome to the Samwell B12 Experience, where we have you covered for all the NHL action, play-by-play, news, and more. Make sure to subscribe today. There is only one dream. One prize. One YouTube channel to catch all the action on. One moment of glory. To get your name etched with the greatest of all time. We all want it. We all need it. Only one will get it. This is our year. This is our time to live, to fight, to win. Lord Stanley, we are coming for you. Subscribe today and don't miss out. Watch it. Sam Welby, experience. Hey, what's up, everybody? Here we are. We are live. It's a Monday, and who knew Monday would be a hockey night? But it absolutely is, and it is a massive matchup today. It is going to be absolutely stellar, and we have all your live game coverage here with play-by-play -play stats and more. So welcome to the show. It's going to be a party. There's so much to discuss, but welcome in one and all. Beverly, what's going on? Onyx, hello there. Michael, what's going on? Penn's fan in the house. That's okay. We forgive you. Lala's place. Billy's, what's going on? Hayden, points with lips. How's it going? Lala's place. What's up? B. Disney. Baxter is here. Hayden, Onyx, Beverly, Jonathan. Now I've lost my place. <laughs> Charlie, good evening. Phil, what's up? Lucas, hello there. Welcome to the show, AAU. Daniel, how's it going, one and all? Andrew, what's going on? TJ, hello there. Welcome, 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 welcome. Such a big game. Michael's Penguins are so close. They are trying to get into that last wild card spot. Desperate for some points tonight. And this is what lineups they are throwing at us. So the Penguins, who are now 36, 30, and 11. Drew O'Connor is going to be with Sidney Crosby and Brian Rust. 
We got a Michael Bunting return. Michael Bunting back in Toronto tonight with Evgeny Malkin and Ricard Raquel. Riley Smith with Lars Eller and Emil Bemstrom. Jesse Pugliarvi with Jeff Carter and Valerie Pustininen. On the D side for the Pens, it's Pierre Oliver Joseph with Chris Latang. Marcus Pedersen with Eric Carlson. Ryan Shea with Jack St. Ivney. And Alex Nadojkovic getting the start in goal for the Penguins. Dave, what's going on? Welcome in. Leo, what's up? Your favorite player playing for the Penguins. What is that? Michael Bunting? Afzal, welcome in. This is going to be a doozy. Oh, it's going to be a big one. For the Maple Leafs, who's going? I'll tell you who's going. Are you ready? Yes? Good, because you're going. Tyler Bertuzzi is going to be with Austin Matthews and Max Domi. Keeping that streak alive. Richard coming in. Five gifted memberships. Richard, thank you so much. And to congratulations to the members. Dave getting a membership. Dan getting a membership. Bobber getting a membership. Ally getting a membership. Congratulations. A Crosby on your favorite. All right. Hey, it was a it was worth a shot. Chris, what's going on? Florida Park Explorers, the bear shark in the house. All right, thank you again, Richard, so very much. All right, so Bertuzzi, Matthews, Domi. Then they're coming back with Bobby Mack, Bobby McMahon, with John Tavares, and Mitchell Marner. Marnie looked okay in his return just the other night, so hopefully he will continue it. Matthew Nyes, Pontus Holmberg, and Willie Nylander on that third line. Nylander not overly happy to be demoted to this third line, hoping for some spread out scoring. It was a little lazy last game, but he did have the most minutes logged. Connor Dewar is going to be with David Kempf and Ryan Reeves. This fourth line has been stellar for the Maple Leafs. Paulette, how is it going? Welcome in. On the D side, Morgan Riley is going to be with Ilya Lubushkin. We got Simon Benoit and Jake McCabe back together. Giordano's with TJ Brody and Samsonov expected to get the start tonight. Now, some big news on Joel Edmondson. We've been waiting to find out more information on Edmondson. He's not playing tonight. He's not going to be playing tomorrow night. That's right. Leafs are playing Monday, Tuesday. You know where we'll be. I hope you'll be here too. But there is talk that he could be returning as early as Thursday. So, Edmondson could be back Thursday. He's coming along real, real nicely. Curtis Joseph, what's going on in the house? Six months a member for the Bear Shark and the Florida Park Explorers. Best of sports broadcaster, tarps off. No, I'm just kidding. It's too early for that. Uh, that's on the later show. Um, but welcome in, one and all, Bear Shark. Thank you so much for absolutely everything. CUD, what's going on? Good evening. Welcome to the show. And just kidding, there is no later show tonight. It's just the one game, but this is a doozy. Shaggy, what's going on? Welcome in. Shaggy, hope you didn't get caught red-handed. Um, if you know, you know. Uh, <laughs> sorry, that was ridiculous. I'm getting I'm getting ripped on in the background here. Oh, gosh, that's such a good tune. Um, but the Leafs looking to shut down Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's been on a tear, and they are looking to get in this playoff picture. They're just outside, 83 points. Detroit at 84, so a tie can put Pittsburgh tied with Detroit. A win could put them in that third wild card spot. It is going to be absolutely awesome. Lala's place flexing some muscle there. One month coming in with the rookie squad. Thank you so much. There you go. Florida Park Explorers gets it. <laughs> 64, and how many more to go? With some Matthews count going to be at today. Shaggy, who should I put? I am not going to give you direction. Uh, it's a tough game tonight. This is a tough, tough matchup. When we look at the series in the past, they have split this year. On November 25th, Pittsburgh won it 3-2. December 16th, Toronto won it 7 nothing. So what is it going to be tonight? I have no idea. Toronto has been playing well, but so is Pittsburgh. When we look at the Stars... Let's go to the stats. That tells the story. Of the last five games, Matthews has seven points. Crosby has seven points. Matthews has five goals. Crosby has five goals. 
It is very, very, very close. The Penguins are 6-2-2 two and two in their last 10. Brian coming in with that subscribe. Thank you so much. Mr. Blister, what's going on? Welcome in. David, hello there. Welcome in. The Leafs are 6-4 and four in their last 10. So pretty even split. This is going to be tough. There are some numbers to look at here. Crosby needs only three points to tie Phil Esposito for 10th place on the NHL's all-time points list and three assists to become the 14th player in NHL history with at least a 1,000. So if Crosby gets three points tonight, he moves into top 10 in NHL all-time points. It's pretty amazing. The last player that moved into the top 10 on the league's all-time points was back in 2008 when Yarmer Jagger did it. So, going to be interesting to watch. Now, Toronto has a tough streak they're kicking off tonight. Toronto plays four straight games against clubs battling for the final two playoff spots in the Eastern Conference. It is a tough, tough stretch. And then they got to close out against Tampa Bay and the Florida Panthers. So, very difficult stretch here for the Maple Leafs. And they're going to be tested. Now, Austin Matthews needs only one goal to match what Ovechkin did previously in 07-08 with 65 for the highest single season total among active players and six to become the ninth 70-goal scorer in NHL history. Matthews owns a four-goal streak and 10-point streak up to this point right now. So, will Matthews get one? Will he hit 70? There's a lot to watch in this game and, of course, what we're going to see Crosby doing. So a lot of stories going into today's game. For Toronto, wins and losses points don't really matter all that much, but we want to see them be successful. Samsonov has been outstanding. The defense has been okay. It's been getting better now that Morgan Riley came back. He's made a little bit of a difference. Brody, some games better than others. But the defense is what we're going to be watching for tonight. How they handle the Pittsburgh Penguins with their tough offense. And of course, the agitation of Michael Bunting. So welcome in one and all. We're going to switch over to the game screen momentarily because this one is about to kick off. I can prep. How's it going? Welcome in. Dan, what's up? Welcome in. Welcome in one and all. So let's just flip over now. Because they're wrapping up the anthems, and we're going to be kicking off the Blue Jay game as well. Up ahead, you'll see we got the score up over here. We're going to be watching that Blue Jay game, and we'll keep you updated on the score there as well. It's delayed because, of course, it's opening day. So they have a lot of people to introduce and a lot of ceremonies to go through. So welcome in. It's the Eclipse Day. Hope everyone had a chance to see some of the Eclipse coverage. It was pretty cool. But right now, it's hockey time. So sunshine, oh sunshine, it's time for you to go away because we're breaking out the puck and we're about to play. Very us, welcome in. Good to see you. Trolley boy, what's going on? Three points each, Maddie and Crosby tonight. Hey, that would be okay. I would take it. Let's get this going. Sammy Nedeljkovic, going to be a doozy. Sidney Crosby doing his best to drag the pins into the playoff. 16 points in this Eight game penguin surge and three points away from entering the top 10 scorers all time. And Austin Matthews, a season high 10 game point streak, nine goals in his last nine. Ooh, they haven't got the on ice going. Time to drop the puck. Enjoy. The kind of significance it has. No, it's, it's a big one, obviously, for very different reasons. It was a day like. None other. Antonio, Looking welcome in. Window at three o'clock and all the city lights on. I wonder if it's going to be a night like no other with these two teams going head to head. And it starts with Tavares. Arnold, McMahon welcome. How's it going? Marner sending that across. Tavares almost picked it off in front. Sidney Crosby centers Brian Rust and Drew O'Connor. Four straight wins for the Penguins, and in each of them, Pittsburgh has scored first. Puck along the boards, and Jake McCabe will send it the other way to Simon Benoit, who had a little trouble there, but is able to get it back to his defense partner. The first changes are underway. Riley Smith is onto the ice. Uh oh, now. big giveaway. Toronto That's behind the net. Pugliarvi, I think. I, is that Pugliarvi? No, it's not. It was Smith. Coming around, Toronto. Holmberg has his stick lifted. Nice getting his lifted now. 
this third line in trouble. That happened without the services of Austin Matthews. And Toronto has goal. to ice the puck as they got Toronto. put in well, really real, real tight. Here. Now, as you're just coming in, do me a favor, hit that like button. We want to get those likes up. So thank you very much for supporting us, hitting those likes. And of course, if you're not already subscribed, tap that sub button. We are almost at 15,600 subscribers. So thank you all so much. John, what's going on? Welcome in. Richard, they do better with Bing Crosby. That's awesome. Craigton, how's it going? Welcome in. He stayed away from the Ellers line in shift number two. Michael Bunting on the ice. He had the game-winning goal Saturday. Tampa Bay had a, erased a 4-1 deficit to tie the game in the third period against the Penguins, only to have an emotional game-winning goal provided by the former Leaf. And here's Malkin stealing and off the side of the net. He had three points in that victory over the Lightning. Raquel bumps it into the corner. There he is Bunting on it. And now back behind the net, it's Malkin jostling with McCabe. That defensive pairing has been stuck out there for the Leafs for the opening two minutes. Yeah, and even that line, the forwards were over a minute now, too. They were the only three that were able to change, but then the icing has put the pressure on. McCabe near here needs to get it deep and get a change. Swatted in, waist high by Matthews. That's an offside call. But the Leafs do get that first defensive change uh, over two minutes in. Well, you look at Austin Matthews in the focus. Okay, the Leafs have clinched their playoff spot. They put a check in that box. You got a new look. You're getting a little bit healthier with some bodies back in the lineup, most notably Mitch Marner. And now with six games left, can number 34 get six? He's got seven in his last seven games. And so no reason to think why he can't continue his hot spot and have another memorable regular season. Crosby and Matthews out head to head. And both five goals in their last four games. Crosby with his first 40 goal season in seven years. Gonna be played to Brian Rust. He's watched closely along the board. Sheldon Keith talked about matching the urgency and competitiveness from a team desperate to make the playoffs. And Pittsburgh's come out with purpose here in the opening three minutes. Thank you, sir. Here comes Crosby. Sidney Crosby wires that wide. Knocked down at the line by Latang. Kept in. Crosby will sweep it around to the near side. After it. Don't we try to get this one out? The puck comes out to center. Jack St. Ivany, one of a couple of young defensemen. That Pittsburgh really bringing this one back in. Right in the midst of this playoff. Even Toronto will run for their money here. Here's a blast. blast. Blocked in front there by Riley. Leafs stuck in their own zone again. Ryan Shea. And now camp up with a puck, but they can't get it out. It's kept alive. Emma Bemstrom into the middle. Here's Jeff Carter. The veteran Carter will swing it in behind the net. Giordano after it there. Back around here's Kemp. Kemp. David Kemp gonna pull this away. Comes to Reeves. 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 Little and back pass here. there. And now Connor Dewar at the line. Riley couldn't get it. Finally, the Leafs camp. bring this one out. He'll roll it deep, and Ryan Reeves will hit after it. Former Pittsburgh Penguin Reeves in behind the net. Tied up there. TJ Brody moves Brody up it. on the pinch. Up against Coming Bunting. away with Brody a nice pinch by Brody. We've got to give him his props. Swings it back. Tavares off the bench. Shooting. The shot just Reeves wide. Just missed the tip in front. Loft at the center, and Brody brings it down for Both Pitlock. teams making some changes. And a hit to Tavares. McMahon able to stay on side. The rest of line two is coming on here for the Leafs. And now Ricard Raquel. Rink wide. Malkin's on the move. Here comes Malkin dropping for Raquel. Samsonov got a piece of that. Sent to the line. It did come out. Sent back in by Joseph. Offside. Offside. That's a Maple Leaf line. Good pace. Good pace. If Toronto can keep playing this hard, Pittsburgh, you know, they're they're a little seasoned, shall we say. So if they can keep Pittsburgh skating, they might just be able to take them in terms of that was way too outlasting them and a good scoring chance for Raquel and you can see Malkin still smarting after taking that dump in that ended up being the offside it looked like it got it, it is a couple side. hits early here for each team again the, the faster this game is and the more physical this game is I think all the advantages go to Toronto 
No, very cloudy, Curtis. Very cloudy. Here's Holmberg. He's going to get down there first. Holmberg playing it around. Knives and Nylander almost ran into each other. Willie with it, trying to thread the needle up the middle. Can't do it. Holmberg leaves it to Knives. Knives getting pushed off the puck. Here come the pens. He'll send it in and... Lars Eller gives chase. Riley back there for Toronto. Pittsburgh back to the, to the line. line held in. Carlson. And he shoots wide of the net. Carlson a game winning goal for Pittsburgh in the first meeting of the year between these two teams. Nice works the boards. Back again for Carlson shooting. And that may have been tipped wide of the net in front. It'll come to Rust. Pittsburgh down side of the net here. Rust still with it. Cycling Off around. Trying to get it to the line, he does. Carlson shooting. That one's deflected just wide. Big battle going on here between Nylander and I think Pedersen. Holmberg going to get a pass to Crosby. And this line is going to peel off. Here's a long pass up to Crosby, dropping it back. Cross ice almost in the center there for Rust, but he couldn't control it. Leafs going to flip this one down. No shots yet for the Leafs, and we're seven minutes, six minutes into this hockey game. Here's Giordano to Brody, hits the red line, just dumps it in. Matthews trying to get over there. The Pittsburgh defender fan on it, St. Ivney, diving Bertuzzi, trying to knock it. Bertuzzi steals! Got over to Domi, Domi back to the line, cross to Gio. Gio sending it in front, it's there, Bertuzzi with a whack. Good save there. Toronto backing this one up. Good opportunity. Yeah, Richard, here the clouds parted about an hour afterwards. It was cloudy all day. But as soon as it was done, the clouds went away. Leafs going to dump this one in, give chase. Latang with it. Kemp is all over him, putting him into the boards. This is going to be played around to Joseph. Joseph, ref, get out of the way. Thank you. Leafs coming in off the board check. Knocking it off for Cal. Comes back to Latang. And here's Dewar. Dewar and McCabe trying to steal that away. Pittsburgh's going to try the other side. They got to give it back to Latang. He's going back to his original side. And he's going to pass it up. Here comes Pittsburgh down the left hand side. Going to be knocked across the middle. Just coming back is Michael Bunting. Bunce is going to pick it up. And the Pens going to tip this one in. Sammy out of his net to play it into the corner for McCabe. Toronto's going to move it up. They get it out the right-hand side. Tavares, first one there. Has it knocked off a stick, but it's right to Riley. Flipping it in for Tavares. Tavares playing this around. Down in the corner, lets it go. Mitch Marner, he takes a bump, but he keeps going. Marner now in the middle of the ice. Tries to feed it across. Tavares picked it up. The intent wasn't for Tavares, but he turned and just saw it. Here's a one-timer that's going to go just wide. Jonesy, what's going on? Welcome in. Got your team burger. I keep forgetting about that deal. Jonesy, I saw your picture. It was awesome. Thank you very much for sending it. I will reply to you. Grinch, what's going on? Welcome in. It's coming back to the line. Here's a shot deflected into the corner. McCabe trying to whack at this. Pittsburgh still had control. Now Toronto's setting it up. Back to Giordano. Gio gets it up to Domi. Domi carrying this one in. Centering it in the slot. Dropping for Bertuzzi. Penn's going to knock this one out. Here comes Mo. Long pass up to Bertuzzi. He doesn't see it. Matthews does, though. Matthews bring it in. Bird had it for a moment, and Latang stole it. Penn's going to send this out and down the ice. No icing call. Here comes Brody. Brody going to bank this off the boards. They're going to dump it in. Toronto can't hold it in. Again, welcome in as you're just coming in. Make sure you hit that like button for us. Come in the chat. Say hello as well. Love to know which team you're cheering for and who your favorite players are. Malkin going to bring this one in. Dumps it off to Raquel. Raquel to Malkin, that misses. Bunting's going to cycle it to the line. Here's a shot. Didn't get it right on. 
Bunting plays him to the net. Off, Samson off. Malkin Here's Malkin inside behind. of the net. Out in front. Sammy's got the leg down. Are we getting a penalty? Bunting goes sliding across the ice. We're getting a tripping penalty coming up. Adrian, what's going on? So they're going on the power play. We will return momentarily. They're doing the anthems in Toronto at the Rogers Center. So we will have the Blue Jays updates starting to flow through real soon. Gerard, welcome in. They aren't playing this on TV tonight, so I'm here. Well, I appreciate you coming here. We will have you covered all the way through. So thanks for joining us and hanging out. JDA, what's going on? Good to see you, my friend. Welcome to the show. Good start in this hockey game. Good pace. Toronto needs to up it in the face-off circle, though. That's a big problem right now. Only 25% in the face-off circle. So... Toronto needs to figure out a way how to get that going. And by the way, we are now five subscribers away from 15,600. So thank you all so much. If you haven't subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe and putting us over the top. No, no, never have to apologize. Family first all the time. We're just glad to have you whenever you're free and able to join. We'll be here tonight. Tomorrow night, Thursday night, Saturday night. There's so much hockey right now. It's crazy going down the stretch. We will have it all covered for you. Carol, how's it going? Please go all the way. You're going to win tonight. And Matthews is going to get 68. Go, Carol. I hope so. But welcome in. Great to see you. TJ, how's it going? Welcome in. Like to see the Jays do well, but not really a baseball fan. Yeah, Richard, I'm, I'm not a huge baseball fan. I'm a Blue Jay fan. So we'll have some Blue Jay c coverage, of course, once we get into the baseball season when hockey season is all done. HBP, welcome in. Hey, Joe, good to see you. Jordan, I did not. I did not. I haven't really been on anything today. It's been a busy day. If it's public and you want to share, please do. Otherwise, text me. <laughs> Toronto's going to win this draw. They're going to play this all the way oh, down so the ice. They're just back from it's commercial break. Here comes the Pens moving up the left. They are on the power play right now. Forrest, how's it going? Welcome in. Back to the line for Carlson. Malkin, Carlson, going to kick it up to Toronto, and they steal, playing this one all the way down the ice. Here comes Carlson working this around. He's going to bring this one up. Back to the World Series. Those were a couple of good years, Richard. Toronto with back-to-back -back World Series. That was awesome. Here come the Pens around the red line. They're going to walk it in. Just about a minute gone in their power play. They haven't been able to set it up, but they do now. Malkin across ice in the slot. Sammy kicking out the left leg, and the puck just goes under the skate. Great save by Sammy. Wow. Bunting didn't get all this one. It's just the quick pass and a shot pass across, and it's like a curling rock. That was awesome. What a spectacular. Just spectacular save. Down there. You know, that's such an odd shot. He's expecting it to come firing off the stick instead of it's a slow slider. What a good read to Awesome, make Craig. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Clear. Power play Carol, he's doing Williams. much, much better. Much better than he was previously. Here comes Pittsburgh again. They're working this one in. Setting up again. They turn it over. Toronto getting it to the line. No, Malkin holds it in. Cross ice to Crosby. Crosby trying to go back and a stick got in the way. Malkin back over to Sid the kid. Sid the old man now. Here's a shot. That one goes high and over the net. Brian Rust coming close. Gordon, good evening. Welcome in. This one is going to be played around to the line. Carlson with it. Carlson plays this one up. That goes just wide. J2 Happy, what's going on? It's your birthday today. Happy birthday, Jay. Here's Crosby trying to put it in. Crosby was trying to get a birthday goal for you, Jay. We don't want that to happen. But happy birthday. Let's get some celebrations in there. And Toronto's going to steal. They play it out. 
Coming out of the box, Benoit, but he can't catch up to that. If Sammy played like this all season, we'd have... Bill, he would have been outstanding. Daryl, what's going on? Ryan, what's up, buddy? Welcome in. Monica, what's up? Roger, hello. Pittsburgh stealing. Almost bursting through. Russell, welcome in. Here's the steal. Big collision up to the boards. And this is going to be the Boosh. Labushkin taking out Smith. Body on body here and watch the stop up by Smith. All of a sudden, instead of going forward, he's going, but it's the stick. Oh, so Labushkin, he's going in to lay the hit. The Pittsburgh players slowed up and kind of turned, and at that point, it was too late. The Boosh already had the stick up, and he's going to go to the box. Endgame, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. If you're brand new to the channel, my name is Sam. This is the Samwell B12 Experience, your hockey destination for play-by-play -play stats, news, rumors, and all that good stuff. So welcome to the show. Make sure you do hit that like button, hit that thumbs up, and hit that subscribe as well. Mr. Snow, welcome in. Good to see you. Uh, so Toronto, as we mentioned at last commercial break, they had to step up in the face-off circle. There's only been a couple, but it's enough for them to even it up 50-50 now in the face-off circle. So good couple of draws there for the Maple Leafs. They do have to get some more shots on net. That is also a little bit of a challenge. Uh, the other thing, for those of you, we talked about it a little bit on Saturday. For those wrestling fans out there that watched WrestleMania this past weekend, I hope you enjoyed it. Night 2 was absolutely incredible. Of course, there were a bunch of title changes. Spoiler alert, if you haven't watched WrestleMania yet, now's the time to mute. It was unbelievable. The event kicked off. With Seth Rollins and the, what do they call him, the Glasgow Warrior, Drew McIntyre. And Drew McIntyre, he won. He won the belt off Seth Rollins. But then Damian Priest cashed in the money in the bank and won the title from Drew McIntyre. So Damian Priest coming away with the WWE Championship. The end of the event was absolutely incredible. We'll talk about that at the next break. That's his body. They're just coming back. Ryan, are you... What? Ryan, it was the greatest. It was so good. But I'm not surprised you didn't like it. Because I did like it. Uh, Mr. Snow, it's delayed because it's the Jays' home opener tonight. So they had to go through all the ceremonies and all the fun stuff. Uh, so it will be kicking off very soon. Thank you for hitting that first... Subscribe, Crosby with a shot, Sammy with another great save there. Ah, oh, you hate Cro Cody Rhodes. <laughs> Cody is awesome. Crosby back around. Here's Bunting sending it in, looking for a tip in front. Can't get it. Brody in the corner, going to play this to Kemp. Kemp, he's going to tip in the middle, and it's a two-on-one shorthanded. Dewar and Kemp. Dewar, he's going to shoot that. <clears throat> it's deflected just wide. B. Disney, what's going on? Peter, hello there. Welcome to the show. Playing this one around. Side of the net coming through. Here comes Camp. Camp going to dump this one to the line. Not out. In front, it's going to hop up. And Sammy is going to grab and hang on to that. Patrick, what's going on? Mark, what's up? Welcome in. So Sammy, another couple great saves. Sharon says the Leafs have to win tonight. It'll be good. They're about to go on a real tough, tough stretch. Couple games against the Devils, the Lightning, the Panthers. As quickly as he could, and he got that one. Looked like a lot of desperate hockey to be played there. here in the closing games of the season. Now the veteran Pittsburgh Jeff is going to win this draw. One minute left in the power the play. Ryan Working this one along. Ball. Back to the line. It's Chris Latang. Tang are going to send it up. Tip just wide. They certainly are, Peter. They certainly are. An outlet off Holmberg and 
<laughs> Ryan, it, it wasn't Punk's fault. It was McIntyre's fault. He wasn't paying attention. Greatest Leaf, what's going on? I see you. I see you there. Jordan, that is flipping friend. Fantastic, buddy. That is awesome. I'm super, you have no idea. I'm super happy to hear that. Well, you do have an idea. That's awesome. Thank you, Jordan. Here's a shot knocked down. Toronto doing a good job. Seven seconds to go. Another shot going just wide. Bruce Lee, welcome in. Another shot, and it goes up and out of play right as the penalty comes to an end. They're going to take another commercial break. Toronto's got to get going. No more penalties. Let's get the offense going. So while they're at commercial break, the closing match saw Cody Rhodes against Roman Reigns. And boy, oh boy, it was a fantastic back and forth match. The bloodline interfered and out came John Cena. And then John Cena had to deal with The Rock. And then The Undertaker came. It was a who's who showing up at the end of that event and of course Cody Rhodes coming away with the title. Now Ryan, I know you said you are not a Cody Rhodes fan, but if you stayed up after the event to watch the press conference, it was absolutely incredible. Cody Rhodes is such an unbelievable human being. The stories he was telling, just listening to him talk was absolutely incredible. So for those of you wrestling fans that watched along with WrestleMania, I hope you enjoyed it. I know I certainly did and i can't wait to watch the replay of raw later tonight or tomorrow five games left yeah it's it's something like that it's pretty close there i'll tell you right now coming up they obviously have tonight against pittsburgh they then have back to back against the devils tomorrow and thursday saturday sees them take on the detroit red wings then next tuesday is the panthers and they end the season wednesday the 17th against the Tampa Bay Lightning. So a tough, tough stretch. The Devils fighting to try and get in there. The Red Wings trying to get in there. The Panthers and Lightning, of course, already in there. It is going to be crazy. All right, they're just coming back from commercial break. The Devils are an interesting one. Two games against New Jersey remaining, and he has dominated in the past. Now, if... That's big for the Rhodes family. Patrick, yeah, it was crazy. Endgame, it was. It was awesome. Do you think there's a chance of us catching Florida? A chance, yes. But realistically, probably not. If Florida goes on a slide and Toronto starts winning, then yes. Uh, Florida right now is at 102 points. Toronto's at 97. So it's possible, just not likely. Gary, what's going on? Welcome in. Somehow have had his number. Can we play that on Sydney Cross? Yeah, I guess maybe you got a match. Toronto going to dump this one in. Five and a half minutes to go in this first period. Very, very low shooting first. Here comes Pittsburgh. Riley turning the wrong way, but makes a great stick check. Takes this one. I like the schedule going to the playoffs. Grinch, it's a tough one. But you're right, It'll if it gets them going, it's all worth it. Here's a slap pass in front. Where is it? Marner comes away. He shoots. Pittsburgh is using their shins to block everything. Here comes the Penguins again. They're stepping out. Going to dump this down. Riley back to pick it up. 30 likes away if you haven't hit that thumbs up yet kindly hit that thumbs up for us and we are four subscribers away only four smash that subscribe as well down low domi center in front for matthews couldn't get a stick on it back to the line giordan or bertuzzi with a weird play couldn't hold the line it's going to come out and he brings it back in for an offside call. So Toronto struggling kind of with the puck right now. Pittsburgh is playing okay, but Toronto's had some opportunities. They just haven't been able to capitalize and move this one in. He's going to get the going right. He stole the words right out of my mouth. 
who's going to set bunting straight if he gets squirrely. Uh, yeah, Domi would probably be that guy. But so far, bunting's uh, he's been all right. Benoit going to play this one up. Pittsburgh intercepts, puts it right back in. Benoit back with it, playing it across. Four minutes to go now. Four minutes to go in the first. And finally, the Blue Jays are finally taking the field as they're going to get this game going about half an hour after its scheduled first pitch time. Here comes Matthews. Matthews on the move. He's going to dump this over at the line. Back in. Sharp angle shot. It's there. They're jamming at it. Comes away. Behind the net for Bertuzzi. He feeds this back to the line. Here's Domi with a shot. Nice save. Matthews in the slot. Spinning. Shoots that wide. Here's Riley with it again. To Bertuzzi. Bertuzzi forgot the puck. Has to go back and get it. Eller coming up with it. He's going to feed this up. Toronto with a little bit of activity here. But again, they can't get much going. Riley going to play this one over. 3.16 to go. Oh, hell yeah. Here's Holmberg with a shot right on. And Nedeljkovic is going to hang on to it. Me too, Curtis. I miss bunting a lot. Bunting was so good. And I don't know if it's true, but I heard a little rumor or I read a little rumor online that said that Toronto actually wanted to sign Bunting in the summer. They were actually very close to getting something done. But after speaking to a variety of people inside the organization, they then decided they were not going to sign him. So as much as we liked Bunting, reading this article, it sounded like there was some drama internally. Nylander can't get a stick on it. Three minutes to go now, here in the first. This coming all the way down the ice. Picked up by Nyes. Nyes going to cycle it around. Back over to Brody. He's going to chop this through. Oh, Patrick, that would be a good one. Here comes Nyes. Nyes trying to stick handle his way in. He gets tied up by Shea and taken into the corner. Here's McCabe pinching up. Going to drop it back to Willie. Nylander, he's cycling around. Willie, sometimes you got to pass the puck. Now he does. Here's a long shot. Dialing long distance and a nice save by Nadalkovic. Down to the leaf side of the ice. Finally up to five shots for Toronto. Five shots in the first period is not good. Only eight here for the Pens. David Kemp is going to chase into it. and He's going to be taken into the boards by Carlson. Here comes Pittsburgh. Long flip up. It's a race. Labushkin, he gets there before Michael Bunting. Labush, he's going to curl with it. Gave it away to Malkin. Malkin coming up. Feeds it into the slot. Couldn't pull the trigger there. And they score. No. Ricard Raquel bobbles it coming in. And with 1.54 to go on the clock, he puts it in. Labushkin, a giveaway. And Raquel took it off his skate. He bobbled it, and he spun, and it goes kind of off the far post and in. Sammy did kick his leg out, but he had to get back up. And then the shot coming over, was this deflected in front? Did Bunting get a piece? The puck directed went up over the leg. My goodness care care what's going on good to see you welcome in the so raquel's 14th of the year and we're one subscriber away from 15 600 thank you all so much Tang going to dump this one in. Typical Leafs get scored on the last minute. They've been doing that a lot, right? A lot they've given up that last goal. This one being knocked out. Here comes Domi. Domi racing it down. Matthews can't pick it up. Matthews steals it. Matthews coming in. Matthews chuking and jiving. Pass it off. Bertuzzi has it taken off his stick. Dropped him from Matthews. Shoots and it goes just over. Casey, what's up? Welcome in. 
Pittsburgh going to play this one up. 40 seconds to go. Long pass up. Matthews going to roll this one in. Here comes Pittsburgh again, working up. Quick shot. Wow. Coming close, but not close enough. Spinning around, this is going to be passed, going way wide. Sent back in by Latang as the clock greens in this opening period. Riley up ahead. He's going to play this around, and that's going to do it. The first period has officially come to an end, and not a good set of playing. Yikes! 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 We're gonna we're gonna go. We're gonna break this one all down in just a second. Boo! So give me one second. We're gonna switch over. Let's uh, let's go to the intermission. All right. Here we go. First intermission. We're going to break it all down for you. And it was not a good period at all for this Maple Leaf squad. They really, really, really struggled. And, uh, just not good, right? Just not good when they can't get things going this way. Uh, okay, let's do this. Give me one moment. Sorry, apologize. All right, here it is. The stats. Your only goal of this game. Ricard Raquel just seconds ago picking up his 14th of the season from Malkin. Malkin's 38th assists. Ten shots in that period for Pittsburgh. Only five for Toronto, only five, and that is not a typo. It is not a mistake. Only five. Toronto struggling in this face-off circle early. They've brought it back. Pittsburgh is about 58% in that face-off circle. You can see it here. It's only seven to five. Uh, early on, Pittsburgh was dominating all the face-offs, so really, really could not help get that going. Uh, Dallas, what's going on? Garth, no worries. Dallas, it's all good. Chris, it's on Sportsnet. Sportsnet is where you can find the game, but most of the Sportsnet channels are covering the Blue Jays. So uh, that's where you can watch along with us and, uh, and hang out and have some fun. 14 hits for Toronto, 13 for Pittsburgh, so not a great job. I mean, excuse me, it is a pretty decent job with the hit department. They are playing very physical, which is always Always, always nice to see. Uh, do, 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 do. Power play, 0 for 2. Pittsburgh, nothing for Toronto. Nothing doing there at all. Giveaways, 4 apiece. 4 takeaways for Pittsburgh, 2 for Toronto. Uh, it really was not a good first period. It, it, it doesn't matter how you break it down. Craig, what's going on? Welcome in. I have all the Sportsnet channels, and it's all Blue Jays. Oh, there's, there's, it's on one of them. I just, uh, I forget which one it is. I'm on Sportsnet One. Oh, it's Sportsnet One, is what I see it on. Um, so not a good job all around for this Maple Leaf team. Uh, and Pittsburgh just wants it more right now, and and penalties were a problem. You know, two penalties in that first period, they were able to shut them down, but they have to play better come the second. Now the good news is Toronto is number one in the NHL with goals in the second period. They've owned that second period. Chris, you're very welcome. No worries at all. So we'll see what they come back with. Hopefully it's going to be meaningful. Uh, because right now, there's a tremendous a lot going on in the NHL. For those that don't know, hey, the Stanley Cup playoffs start in like two weeks' time. Uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty crazy. April 20th is the day the penguins need a win to move into the wild card two position to take out the red wings the red wings are not playing today they would also tie with the islanders with 85 points the islanders are currently third in the metro uh, metropolitan division 
The Golden Knights can end up in either third place in the Pacific with a win tonight or remain in their current seed with one point or a loss. Now entering play today, so before these any of the games started, the Eastern Conference has seen the wild card two spot change hands for five straight consecutive days. Five days in a row, that's crazy. PM Steezy, what's going on? Got the pizza ready? Love it. There have been 17 unique potential first round matchups over the past five days. When we say the matchups are changing with every game played, it absolutely goes to show 17 unique matchups just over the last five days. Crazy. Pittsburgh has come back from the largest deficit outside of the playoff bracket. It, they were 10 points back, and they've come all the way to slide just about in there, which is pretty, pretty remarkable. So every game matters. Now, who else is playing tonight? What are the other games that you want to be watching? that have potential implications. Well, hey, the only other game tonight is Vegas-Vancouver. And like I said, Vegas looking to improve upon their place. With a loss, they will remain in that second wildcard spot. Vancouver, they've been struggling at times as well. Uh, so we'll have to keep an eye on Vancouver. Brad coming in with the thumbs up. Thank you, Brad. Appreciate it. The standings today right now see the Bruins at 107 points. They're sitting atop the Atlantic. Florida at 102 in second, Toronto at 97 in third. For the Metropolitan, it's the Rangers at 110 points. The Rangers currently your President's Cup trophy winner right now. Carolina in second at 105, and then the Islanders, who we just talked about at 85 points. Tampa Bay is sitting four points behind Toronto. They're at 93 points. And of course, Toronto plays them the last game of the season. Detroit right now hanging on to that last wild card spot at 84 points. Pittsburgh and Washington and Philadelphia. Oh my goodness. I didn't even notice this till I scrolled down. Philadelphia has slid all the way out. They were in third in the Met. They dropped to the wild card and now they are out of the playoffs. Unbelievable. Fred, how's it going? Welcome in. So Pittsburgh, Washington, Philadelphia, all tied with 83 points. Four teams for that last wild card spot that is currently being held for the Red Wings. So the playoff matchups in the East, if they started today, you would see the New York Rangers taking on the Detroit Red Wings, the Boston Bruins taking on the Tampa Bay Lightning, Florida and Toronto, Carolina and New York Islanders. That would be your East. It sucks to the Flyers. Right, Chris? It's crazy. I can't believe they slid so far back. The Western Conference, things are a little, a little more set. There's still a little bit of a race, but it's not as crazy as the East. The Dallas Stars sitting at the top spot with 107 points in the Central. Colorado's in there at 102, followed by the Jets, who are at 100. In the Pacific, it's Vancouver with 102. Edmonton is at 99, and LA is at 93. So the Oilers are trying to catch up on Vancouver. The Oilers have winning four of their last five. Vancouver has only won three of their last five. The two wildcard spots right now belong to the Nashville Predators at 94 points and the Vegas Golden Knights at 92. The St. Louis Blues are down at 87, so there's a chance, they're running at a time, but there is a chance they could catch Vegas, depending on what happens tonight for that last wildcard spot, but I have a feeling it's not going to happen. Taking a look at what the matchups would be right now in the West, the Dallas Stars would be taking on the Vegas Golden Knights, in that first round matchup. That would be one heck of a series. Colorado and Winnipeg would play each other. Then you'd have Vancouver taking on the Nashville Predators. Uh, that would be a great matchup as well. And of course, Edmonton and Los Angeles would play each other again. So some pretty great matchups right now as it sits uh, in the West. So very, very interesting. 
Now they're having a talk about interesting. They're having a debate on screen right now about Chris Letang. And let's get your opinion in the chat. What do you think about Chris Letang? Does he deserve to be a Hall of Famer or no? Would you consider Chris Letang a Hall of Famer or no? Let's see. Yes or no. What you think about Chris Letang? Bill misses the playoffs. I'm scared of Tort's reaction. Rightly? Exactly. Has to be one huge traffic jam. Oh, yeah, the traffic downtown with the Blue Jays and the Leafs. Don't want to be downtown today. That's going to be crazy. The Titanic didn't go down as quick as the Flyers. Right, Curtis? It's crazy. All right, let's see. Daryl says yes. Would put Latang in the Hall of Fame. Ryan says yes. That hockey fan, welcome to the show. Lee says no, not a Hall of Famer. No to Latang. Too tangy. <laughs> Very us nice. I'm I'm a little torn on on Chris Latang. No, not really. John's not really. <laughs> Stranger says nope. Yeah, I here. Let's let's see. Can we pull up his career stats here real quick? It's interesting on Chris Letang because we know he's been with Pittsburgh for an awful long time. He's had some issues, right? He's had some medical issues. He's overcome. In his career, you can't just give me totals. There it is. In his career, he's played 697 games. So today will be 698. He has 121 goals, 410 assists for a total of 531 points. He is a plus 61, also has over... 500 minutes in penalties so and of course a couple of cups as well so is he a hall of fame defenseman i i think i kind of agree with with the majority of you and i i i would kind of lean to say no not really i mean i think if he gets in the hall of fame it's going to be more of you know, what he's been dragged through with Pittsburgh and the Crosby effect, you know. But I, I don't think he is a Hall of Fame defenseman. Um, now, when you look at someone like Eric Carlson, Eric Carlson, you know, he's been around for a little bit longer. Uh, Carlson played on a worse team with the Ottawa Senators. Now, I guess, in fairness, the Ottawa Senators, they were bad, but they were not... They were not as bad as they are now. But Eric Carlson, all right, let's look. Eric Carlson in 763 games, 649 points. But Carlson is a big minus 81. So you know what? I would say Carlson as well. Probably not Hall of Fame worthy statistics. With his stats, he played and he played for the Leafs. You would say yes, don't lie. <laughs> no, Dan, listen, I'm not... Just because someone plays for Toronto doesn't mean they're a Hall of Fame defenseman. Look, I'm not putting Todd Gill in the Hall of Fame <laughs> or Thomas Coverley. Listen, I, I think over the years, the, the Hall of Fame, there's a couple of folks in there that I don't think necessarily deserve to be in there. Um, I probably wouldn't have put both Sedins in there. One Sedin is, is certainly better than the other Sedin, in my opinion. Uh, so I, I don't think both Sedins would have went in. But, you know, based on the situation, they were drafted together, played together, did all that. Um, I think one of the Sedins was very lucky to go in with his brother. Uh, I will say that. Denver, what's going on? The period was awful. Yeah, it certainly was. was not a good period of play for Toronto. William, how's it going? Welcome in. Brett, what's going on? Welcome, welcome. Chris, no Sedins. Yeah, no Sedins. Uh, okay, let's see. I want to scroll back because I know I missed some comments here. Long live the Marner wraparound. Hopefully Marner can get himself going here. Marner has not been good. Uh, Paul Coffey or, 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 or is Hall of Fame. Yeah, John, listen, it is... I think it's very difficult for defensemen in this day and age um, to put up some of the stats like they used to back in the day. But I still think there's that expectation, right? Still think we have to 
not just let some of these guys in for the sake of letting them in. Uh, Sam, in your honest opinion, could you see the Leafs go to the finals? My honest opinion? Not this year. Not this year, Denver. And, and I hope I'm wrong. I want to be wrong. I want the Leafs to go to the final. I want it to be a Toronto-Edmonton Stanley Cup final. But if I'm being realistic, I don't think it's this year. Other than Riley, has any defense ever been an all-star, won an award? Um, I'm sure there has been. I'd have to look it up. And I'll, and I'll tell you, Morgan Riley was having a good start. He's putting up some good numbers. Morgan Riley, at times, has been a liability defensively. Um, but I still think he's a good defenseman. But yeah, I, I, don't think, I don't think it's Toronto's year. Their path to the cup is too hard, right? Too hard. Let's say first round is Florida. Okay, Florida has some injuries. Ekblad, Verhage, Kachuk has been ill. So let's say they find a way to get past the Florida Panthers. Great. Then they're going to end up in that second round against the Boston Bruins. Tough, tough matchup. Let's say they happen to find a way to get past the Boston Bruins. Then they're more than likely going to run into the New York Rangers. So you're going to have three unbelievably difficult series to get to that Stanley Cup. There is no kind of easy road. So I I just don't think they have the endurance and the long-term will to uh, to get there. I trade Marner for a good D. That hockey fan, that wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Um this summer he's due for a contract extension. He's going to want, you know, 11 and a half, 12 million dollars to be right up there. He's going to want more than Willie. He's going to obviously less than Matthews. I don't think we can afford him. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Uh, Daryl, I, I I don't know. The, the thing with Tavares, even though he's coming down, his contract extension as well, you know, they might be able to get Tavares for a very cheap price. Um, it's going to be very inter interesting to see what they do with both of those two players. Uh, my dad and I thought if they beat the Avalanche, they could hopefully have a good shot. Just hope to put in a few rounds. Uh, I probably missed the beginning of that. Who who beats the Avs? The thought that if they beat the Avalanche, they could hopefully have a good shot at it. Are you talking about the the Oilers? If they get past the Avs, or the Avs are going to be a tough tough team as well this year. Very tough. Uh, but goaltending also is going to be what it comes into. So the the goaltending, I mean, if Samsonov plays the way he is right now, man, it would be awesome. It would be absolutely awesome. Uh, Ekblad is coming back during the playoffs in Verhage. Right, that's that's exactly what I just said, Ryan. They're both out right now. <laughs> so I, I'm right. <laughs> uh, let's see. Da -da -da -da. Ba -ba -ba. Let's see. I was kind of joking when I said pretty good. He was the best. I feel like the Los Angeles Kings can make it far. The Kings are an interesting team. You never know what you're going to get out of that team. You know, they, they're they kind of getting in there, but it depends who shows up. They're a squad that I don't think gets a lot of attention, and I don't think they're going to have a lot of pressure. Oh, the Leafs when they beat the Avalanche. Oh, <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha. I gotcha. Turn all the way, Stanley Cup Final Series will be Toronto versus Winnipeg. That would be interesting. All right, we're getting set for the second period. Great conversation. Thanks for hanging out during the intermission. Let's uh, let's go over and we'll bring you the second period. Here we go. And we did it. Now, we are seven likes away. If you're just coming in, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Get us up to 100 likes. And thank you, everybody, for hitting that subscribe. It's putting us to 15,600 subscribers. We're on our way to 16K. If you're enjoying the show and you want the best coverage from Toronto, in Toronto, about Toronto, hit that subscribe. Let's have some fun. Second period. Here we go. For the goaltender and help the offense that one. Shots for 10-5. Pittsburgh in the opening period. Shot attempts 23-16 as McKay puts that on goal. And regains possession of the new Tim cards coming out Monday. You know we'll have a bunch to show. hooks it down inside the Pittsburgh line. Seven of the ten shots by Pittsburgh 
by either Michael Bunting, who had Thank four, you, Jonesy. That means a lot. Three, and the Pittsburgh goal. McCabe up ahead. Off McMahon, who turns back. A goal for McMahon, set up by Marner on Saturday night. And oh, there's a trip. Bobby McMahon tripped up. No call. Boo. Some of the fans reacted, but the officials do not. Lars Heller tried to club it down, knocked off his stick by Nyes. Second time in a row now for two periods. It's the Matthews line third up with keeping the matchups with Tavares against the Crosby line. And Here's Nylander bringing it in, coming in in front to Holmberg. Couldn't get a stick on it, neither could. Nyes, but here's a blast from Labushkin and a nice stop there, 84 miles an hour. Paralife, welcome in. Down around, Holmberg squeezing the board, is going to keep that one in. <laughs> Peter. Back to the line, throwing this through. Leafs to Brody, TJ, he didn't shoot it, passes it off. Now they shoot, that one's going to go wide. Domi racing to pick that one up, going to reverse it for Bertuzzi. He sends it over, Matthews doesn't get there, Giordano has it, he gets it to Matthews. Pass across to Domi, here's Max trying to get it through. Trying again and this one is deflected in the air. Drops down, Matthews turning and shoots. That hit the Pittsburgh player who dropped down hard. Joseph went down hard. Here's a blast from Matthews going wide. Matthews can't hit the net right now. Brody down low. He's racing to hold this one in. Matthews back to the line, keeping it in. Domi in the corner. He's with it, taking a cross check there. Brody, cross ice pass. Toronto taking a look back to Brody. Brody's going to shoot. Doesn't get through. Pittsburgh blocking those lanes. <laughs> Here comes Malkin intercepting. Bunting bringing it in. He's cut off by Nylander. Nylander just took that right away from Bunting. Candy from a baby. Playing this one up. Look out! Morgan Riley and Malkin collided inadvertently. Very close to a knee on knee. That could have been dangerous. Krista, what's going on? Welcome in. So Toronto shooting the puck a whole lot more to get going. Thank you very much for putting us over 100 likes. Much appreciated. Wayne, how's it going? Why do people keep crying about not being able to afford Marner? If he asks for 11.5, give it to him. It's a raise of 600. He's already at 10.9. The question, Wayne, do you think he's worth 11.5? Or do you think... Getting rid of him, that 11.5 could be split between two better players. Here comes Pittsburgh walking in. I, I agree with you, but I'm, I'm curious. Is Marner worth it, or do you divide that up? Maybe get a better defender and another better for an upgrade on forward. Coming around, Tavares can't get it. Don't forget, you're probably not going to re-sign Brody, so you're going to get five mil for him coming off the books. That five mil probably goes into the Nylander extension. Prep, welcome back. <laughs> That's funny. Here's the Boosh. He's going to play this one up. Triton coming in two dollars super chat. Oops, I did it again. Host check PayPal. What is Triton PayPaling? The checking of Jack St. Ivany, a native of Manhattan Beach, California. That's centered in front and deflected by Reeves to the corner. Reeves for camp behind the net. Fourth line lead pressure. And Camp tried to spin that to the net. Walked in front of Triton. Thank you. Uh, I will announce this in a minute. Triton, you, you want to do 2 5? I want to make sure I'm getting this, you know, the. I want to make sure I see that right. Bertuzzi playing this back to the line. Cross ice for Brody. Brody going back, and that one, the quick stick knocks it away. Marios, what's going on? Welcome in. All right, thank you, Triton. 
And Bertuzzi knocked down as he... Bertuzzi down and another no call. Send him to the ice. Matthews back to work. Max Domi rink wide. And there's no way Panarin isn't going anywhere. That was blocked in front. Maybe an inch over. over. On it. <laughs> Chris, there's two ways of looking at that. Yes and no, if you compare it to other sports. Domi trying to get it. He cannot do it. This coming around and all the way down the ice. That's going to be an icing call. Good night, buddy. Ladies and gentlemen, we have something very, very special we're going to do. And it means I got to set it up while we're going, but that's okay. Our good friend A.U. Triton has so kindly, so kindly offered to sponsor a giveaway. We are going to be giving away a $25 Amazon gift card. A $25 Amazon gift card. We're giving that away today. Make sure you're subscribed. We're going to get that set up, and I'll tell you how you can enter that. Here they come in front. They score. Matthew Nyes wants a gift card. He puts it in. Matthew Nyes tipping it in, and I was going to wear my Nyes jersey today, and I decided not to. Cherry, what's going on? Go, 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 Matthew Knives with those beauty hands just puts it in. You got the touch. Great play. He just gets past Carter, tips that one home. Good hard hitting, good fast playing. Lucas loves Amazon gift cards. <laughs> That's right, giveaway. Here they come again, another shot. And that one goes just wide. Giveaway equals a goal. <laughs> so I'm going to get this one set up, and then we'll let you know how you can enter. We mentioned Saturday against. Montreal is score a couple in bunches. $25 on the line. He's still on the back side and would find a way to get open. So Brody and Riley draw the assists on the Nye's goal. TJ Brody with six points in his last seven games. Tavares battling in behind the net. Carlson up with it. That'll be knocked down by Marner. Back it comes to Riley. And now from distance, that shot hit his Shot, and that's going to hit the post. Dan, welcome. Welcome in. Perfect timing. Rod, what's going on? Pens need to win this one. Yeah, they do. It's going to be close for them to squeak in. Tavares, a backhand in front. They're going to drop down and hang and on to that one. On that. So Matthew Nye is picking up his 15th goal second. of the season. That is an absolute beauty. They're going to commercial break. So this is how it's going to work. We are going to enable the draw. It's going to show up in the chat. And you know what? Let me change the keyword. Because we've been using the same keyword for a while. And, uh, well, I want to make it a little different. Uh, can we? There we go. We're going to change. Uh, let's do. No, we can't do that. Uh, can we do that? We're going to do that. All right. So I just have to make sure everything is set up here. So we are going to enable the giveaway. It's going to come up in the chat. It's going to tell you what command you have to enter. Once you enter that command, you will get a raffle ticket. Once we close it, then we will draw a name to win. Jim in Florida, what's going on? No team wants to play the Penguins in the first round. Jim, they are on fire. Penguins are, are looking good. And you're right. I think if they are they if they're able to get in, they're gonna be one of those teams that could really disrupt because they're coming in. They've already been playing playoff hockey. For the last two weeks. So it's really going to be 
uh, it's really going to be a testament to that team of what they've done and can they keep it up into the playoffs. What do you think of Marner being back? Uh, listen, I have no problem with Marner coming back. I know it's uh, it's a little bit tough, right, because it takes a little while to get going, and people expect him to get going right away. But, yeah, he's he's doing what he has to do. All right, they're coming back from commercial break. With Ludwig and then a little dish. And the one thing about Nye is all season long, not afraid to get involved and be a physical player you know, from a young player in the league. He's made a difference in this Leaf team. And what a difference. There are seven hits a game All right, more let's get his goal registered year. here on and the that's ticker. When you're looking at what Bratcher Living wanted to bring into this team, you, you look at Benoit on the back end. But Matthew Nye's in his first full season has really made an impact there up front as well. Second highest hit total by a leap rookie forward ever. And he's 19 back of Uncle Leo, Leo Kovarov. <laughs> yeah, at 176. And he wasn't a young rookie at the time. But Nice certainly has a shot at that. Although it's not a guarantee what's going on. With a hit yet tonight. Here comes Pittsburgh. So we're gonna we're gonna enable this. And at the 10 minute mark, at the 10 minute mark, we're going to enable the giveaway. So watch for that command. Make sure you're subscribed. Twenty five dollar Amazon gift card on the line. Thank you, AAU Triton. Here's a quick shot. Make sure you check out AAU Triton's YouTube channel. And we got Domi, Domi and Bunting. They're having words face to face as Bunting has the hand up on Domi's forehead. That's a pretty big forehead. One of the Jays game for a couple of innings. All right, Wayne, make sure you come back in time to enter that giveaway. You think of Domi as well. There's a guy who had a good playoff last year. One of the reasons why he's here hunting with. But Sammy again coming across real nicely. The hand pass came after. So Domi actually went at Bunting first. So interesting to see if they continue. Faceoff comes outside the line. So we got two and a half hockey minutes, and then we open up our little contest here. He did play for the Leafs. Bunting, Bunting was awesome. He get into the front of the net, being aggressive, getting in guys' faces is kind of drag Malkin into it a little bit as well. They seem to. There's AU Triton's site. Make sure to check him out. Again, thank you, Triton, for sponsoring our giveaway. Has been able to be. A serviceable score. Triton does all kinds of amazing virtual reality, some video games, all kinds of technology stuff. Definitely worth checking them out. Bunting chasing this one down. Benoit back to pick it up. Going to cycle around. No, no, still not a new car. But if you save up your $25 Amazon gift card, you can probably buy a model car. Crosby spinning around. He stole it off of Nylander. Nylander is going to steal it off of Crosby, and Willie's going to get a penalty. Two teams, referee. Two teams. Those were two guys in a hard battle. Once you turn the puck over, you get a heightened sense of, oh, God, i got to try to find a way to get it back. Now just chasing a little bit, and Crosby's done this so often, just trying to get his So Crosby was actually holding Nylander's stick. You could see he tr Crosby with the hand and wrist Crosby over trapping stick Nylander's stick, it's holding it. It's, it's so Nylander had nowhere to go. So that's one. If you're going to do that, you got to send them both. Don't like that at all. That was a little gamesmanship, wouldn't you say? You well, feel the, you got a guy extended with his arm Hockey fan. Yeah, absolutely. So what we're going to do at the 10-minute mark, we're going to open up the contest, and all the instructions will be in the chat. It'll tell you. The command you have to enter here's another blast and that one goes wide and then we are going to close it uh just at the end of the intermission and we're going to pull the winner and the winner does have to be in the chat to win and then uh, if your name gets called you reach out to me through email my website or instagram and we'll make arrangements to send you a gift card 
that easy. Just a big thank you to everybody for supporting the channel. Pittsburgh working this one through. In the middle, bunting with a shot. Nice save. Rebound. Another great save. Wow. Pittsburgh moving this puck nicely. Did the middle age pass. <laughs> To Ilya Samsonov. Well, there's one for bunting in that middle area. He's just there for support. He's got options. Pittsburgh to go moving this puck to real nicely. If it's open or he knows he's got rust in front. And this is one of those shots that probably isn't going to score. He's just trying to get it through. Bunting, that was a nice shot, actually. He was through the legs of Brody. And Samsonov made a good move, was able to get it. Rust was just a little slow reacting. should be retirement off. Chris. But meanwhile, for a 36 year old, he's having one of the best seasons ever. Pittsburgh still cycled us around. I'm going to cross. That hits a leg and gets the line not out. Held in just barely. Did bunting to Sid. Crosby down to the line. Cross for Malkin. The question is, will Sid be the captain of the Canadian Olympic hockey team at the next Olympics? Back to the line, Malkin with a shot and a glove saved by Sammy. Or will somebody else take on that? Bunting flew the coop on the rod. I was a big Bunting fan. I quite enjoyed having him here. I really enjoyed having him here. Robert, it was Matthew Nyes. Matthew Nyes got the goal. You think Sid, the retirement home man. <laughs> he could. You can't count Sid out for anything. Pittsburgh win another draw. Back to the line. Latang keeps that one in. 37 seconds to go on the penalty. Funding started in the ECHL. I didn't know that. Pass across, coming up the middle, intercepted, and Charles is going to flip this one out down the ice. Mitch Marner, a breakaway, shorthanded, coming in, and a penalty coming up. Thank you, official. The slash getting called. That was a really weak penalty. Marner certainly could have had more speed there. Raquel came in, coming in gets one slash and a bit of a hook. Just enough to not allow Marner to get a good shot off. Puck was rolling too. Marner had to settle it down. But finally, finally, we're going to get a penalty. So that's going to give us some four on four action for 20 seconds and then we will get a power play for the Maple Leafs and let's open up I know it's four seconds away let's open up the giveaway who wants to win $25 Amazon gift card <laughs> keep six what's going on welcome in Exclamation mark, go Leafs, to enter to win. All you have to do is subscribe, make sure you hit that like, and type exclamation mark, go Leafs, and you'll get a raffle ticket. Power play is, over, is beginning for Toronto. Here's Nylander, a shot that goes just wide. The four on four coming to an end. Toronto has a minute 30 to go. <laughs> Hockey dude. Unfortunately, you can cheer for the Bruins all you want, but that's not going to get you into the giveaway. Bobbert's coming in. Welcome in. Back to the line. Setting it up. This coming around. Matthews out of his reach. And the Penguins going to clear this. So again, not a good looking power play here for the Maple Leafs. Darkheart, what's going on? Welcome in. Thank you, Raymond. Appreciate it. Here's Toronto breaking in. Marner shoots. Great save. Nedeljkovic, it's there in front. Tavares was tripped up. He couldn't get the loose puck. Pittsburgh coming back the other way. Tomcat, what's going on? Let's go. Driving in Sammy with the save. No, it'll only allow you to pick up one ticket. And it looks like another penalty to Toronto now. 
Leap penalty. Wow. He, you know, on the back end for the Penguins, you've got that young pair. Just My goodness. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Equal, and they don't even notice Marner from behind. The Delkovic gets a piece of so it. But Marner with a chance, the and then Rust coming Jordan in. Matthews, Matthews and Giordano, the whack. But watch as this puck comes out of the and I don't know if this is so much a trip on Giordano. This is Rust was driving to the net and tripped over. Oh, unless they're calling that second trip. So a second trip coming out of the corner, that must be the call. Giordano goes down. <laughs> I just I don't mind you calling a lot of penalties, just call them evenly. So we got 35 seconds here of four on four hockey. Pittsburgh has the puck. In the corner, Riley and Brody both all over one man. Penn send it back and it's missed. This is going to roll out and all the way down the ice. Again, thank you, Brett, for subscribing. This coming around. Sam, how's it going? Welcome in. in the last game. Oh, Sam, I'm so sorry to hear that. But keep trying. Don't get down. Shake it off. Get right back up. You got this, Sam. You got it. K-Man, what's up? Welcome in. If only the Penguins could score. Toronto has the same problem. Here come those Leafs. Four on four is over. It's now a 55-second power play for Pittsburgh. But Dewar and Kemp have the puck in Pittsburgh's end. Chasing this one around. That's right. If you haven't seen our video with our good friend Rick Smith, it's all about getting knocked down, getting back up, being determined to fight through adversity. In his history, that puck comes loose and camp will clear. Malkin now 69. Malkin coming down. Toronto in 46 games, but Here comes Pittsburgh setting it up, coming in. Little dipsy do. Quick Beautiful shot. That one's going to be stolen by Toronto. They're going to clear it down. Whatever, welcome in. Here comes the final boss. Otherwise, had a little bit more time than maybe he thought, and Marner would have been in all alone. Pittsburgh still working through pass across. They can't get it. Power play has expired. Giordano out of the box. Going to feed this one up. Bobby Mack can't get there. Marner can't get it. This one is going to be turned around. This one is working through. Long pass. Here's a shot. That one goes just wide. Tavares getting knocked down with a cross check. No call on that one. In front, it's there. Toronto, move this. 6.15 to go here. Um, the first period, Sam, was atrocious. It was not good. This period has been much better. This one coming around. Back over the side. Leafs trying to tie this one up, trying to get something going. Here's Nylander. Here comes Willie. Willie, dipsy doodling, coming around in front side of the net, and that one is grabbed and held on to as Reeves was right there on the doorstep. And they're going to go to commercial break. I mentioned our good friend Rick Smith. He's actually at the baseball game today for the Blue Jays home opener. But if you want to watch our sit down, I tell you, it was heartfelt. It was inspiring. It was passionate. The story of Rick is absolutely incredible. There's the link. Make sure to go and check it out. Um, it was absolutely wicked and wild. So there's the link. Check it out. So what we'll do is for the giveaway, you let me know where you're located and we'll make sure we get you the gift card that you can use. Amazon is pretty funky. Um, with cross currencies, so we'll make sure if you're if you're in Canada, we'll make sure we'll get it so you can use it at the Amazon.ca. If you're in .com, we'll make sure we'll get it to you so you can use it in .com. We'll get it all taken care of for you. All you have to do is win. 
Chris coming in with a gifted membership and whatever. Congratulations. Picking up the gifted membership. And big thank you, Chris, coming in. Get those stick taps up for Chris, for everybody who's been helping us out tonight. Thank you so much. I just entered to win that Amazon gift card, but if I'm in the U.S., not an issue, Sam. Not an issue at all. We are set up to work in a number of currencies, so we'll be able to make sure it's all taken, taken care of. But we will get it for you in the USD. Not a problem at all. $25 on the line. So they're just coming back from commercial break. If you're just watching along in the background, if you're ninja watching, well, <laughs> hockey dude, if you're on Mars, I don't know if Amazon will guarantee its delivery. So <laughs> you, you have bigger problems. But hey, if there's a way, we would find it. All right, coming back from commercial break. But if you are just watching along in Ninja, make sure to pop in. Get your raffle ticket for your chance to win, even though you might not come in the chat, but you just hang out and watch in the background. You are still a big supporter. So thank you. Make sure you get your tickets. was even just average the Dan Financial Group. <laughs> All heart. We'll find a way to get it up there to you. <laughs> and the people who make it happen. Sarah's welcome in. Welcome the to the side, show. Of their last <laughs> well, Grinch, I can't I can't help you there. You can you can send me an email or reach out on our website, samwellb12experience.com slash about. And on the about section there is a spot where you can put in a message. Five and a half minutes to go. It's a time warp. Hand pass. We're, we're back at even strength, by the way. Ricard, Raquel, and Matthew Nyes, the goal scorers. Reading each other nearly as efficiently and well. And you, know you think he'd uh, he'd pair up with uh, Virgin Atlantic? Put it on one of their ships and send it up. Six hundred and sixty-nine days till the Olympics, but who's counting? Not me. The Blue Jays scoring a couple more runs, three to one now, or three nothing now. Blue Jays. This coming around here is a long shot. Deflected wide in the corner. Toronto's going to pick it up. <laughs> yeah, Triton. You sure did. Can we send that space This is coming in. Long shot. This one is picked off. Going to be sent down. Yeah, Lucas, it was pretty sweet. Four and a half minutes to go. Business is picking up in this hockey game. Toronto still needs to get more shots. They got to stay out of the box. Vaughn, what's going on? Welcome in. Swinging it around. Not coming through. Bertuzzi to Matthews. He can't get it. To the line. Holding it in. Here's a shot. Bertuzzi absolutely tied up and taken down in front. No call. Toronto has had four penalties in this game. Pittsburgh has had one. And Toronto's power play, 30 seconds of it was four on four. They literally had 35, 40 seconds of a power play. And then they called another power play on Toronto. They're going to another commercial break. 1-1 one, one is the game, but Toronto's got to figure out a way. They're losing in the face-off percentage. They're losing in the hits only by one. They're losing in block shots. Pittsburgh is besting them in just about every statistical category tonight. The Leafs are lucky to be tied at ones. This is their period. They are supposed to shine in the second period, and we're just not seeing it right now. It'll buy a raffle ticket. How much? Uh, so all you have to do is enter exclamation mark go Leafs. And that will get you a raffle ticket. No purchase necessary. 
It's sponsored by our good friend AAU Triton. So make sure you check him out. All we ask is that you subscribe and support the channel. And if you are just coming in, make sure you smash that like. We're on the way to 150 likes. So help us out with those likes. And of course, help us out with those subscribes. So we appreciate it. We're going to pull the name towards the end of the second intermission. So make sure you are here. You'd hate to win, but then lose because you weren't in the chat. The winner does have to be here. Curling strategy and skill is where it's at. Some close moments. Uh, curling is so crazy. If if you've never played curling, first of all, to put on curling and watch, it's kind of it. It takes a bit to understand it. But if you've played it and can get in on it, oh, it's so much fun. Teresa, what's going on? You missed a couple of goals. We're tied at ones. But we have our giveaway going on right now, Teresa. Exclamation mark, go Leafs. And you could be the winner of a $25 Amazon gift card. Make sure you get it in there. Jeff, what's going on? Welcome. Billy coming in. Go Leafs, go. Welcome to the show. Quick shot, going to go just wide. Crosby holding this one in. Here's a shot from the point. Sammy made the save. Rebound, and they're going to go upstairs. O'Connor just misses. Here comes Toronto. Power play has expired. Back, we're at even strength here. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Even strength here. Coming around. Pittsburgh. Swinging it through, Benoit, nice move there. The net comes off as Crosby is driven down. Crosby's knee went right on the post there. Fortunately, it came off because of the plastic pegs, but you can see the discomfort as... Jacob coming in with the $5 super sticker. Keep it up. Thank you, Bruce and Val. Appreciate it. Getting the workout pair there. Right Love it. Thank you for the $5 and super the sticker. Call was a late one. I didn't Who scored for the Leafs? Right? Matthew it's Nyes putting it in. Right call, Why did our scoreboard get right super big? The thing for I got to stop moving so things around inadvertently. Here we go. I mean, his right knee took the brunt Crosby's in some discomfort. There it is. Stick taps coming out. Hey, another penalty for Toronto. A new drinking game every time the Maple Leafs take a penalty. Cheers. Triton getting that shimmy in there. <laughs> Thank you, Triton. Oh, and the freeze. How did everything get bigger? What happened here? It continues to be Camp and Dewar who are the first two for... This leaves penalty kill. And now Marner not even in the top four to start yet. Nylander's out there now. Comes back to Latang. His shot misses stick side. Around it comes. There's a good stick by Labushkin. Comes back to the line for Latang. And Lars Eller into the middle. Latang. Here comes the shot. It ends up high and out. Gatorade Fit. Real hydration. All right. I think we fixed our scoreboard. Stop resizing. So Crosby looks like he's retying his skates. Did it auto correct? Oh my gosh! It's been doing that to me so much lately. Every time I hit enter, the auto correct changes, and I don't catch it. He's. <laughs> That's awesome. Sorry, Matty Nice. <laughs> Good call out. One minute to go in the power play. So three Pittsburgh power plays in this second period. <laughs> Sometimes it just happens, Teresa. They've taken so many penalties, it happens. Okay, it is a quick change in shuffle. Well, let's 
got two different pairs of skates on. <laughs> this going coming around Ready Pittsburgh, holding the line. Skates, Cross ice pass, Malkin, he likes to pass. Sammy spinning around. Makes a nice stop, got some help from the defense, and this comes out and all the way down. <laughs> Vaughn, we've had some weird situations with our scoreboard this year. Not too far for Russ to had a glorious chance. Into the corner it goes. They scrub. Battling in the corner, trying to pull this one out. 127 to go. Pittsburgh in the slot. Sammy got all of that one. And the puck came down and it whacked Chris Crosby in the face. Did he take a stick or the puck? Crosby is cut and bleeding. Crosby's. Oh, you better not. Crosby. Sidney Crosby goes to complain to the officials. The officials were not calling a penalty on the play. Crosby goes over to the officials complaining. The official blows the whistle, and now they're huddling. Unbelievable. Oh, you got to be freaking kidding me, you son of a gun. So it is a high stick. It's legit a high stick, and Toronto's been doing this. So much. The puck is in the air. Toronto goes to whack it out of the air. Bobby McMahon whacks Crosby in the face. But the official wasn't going to call a penalty. No arms went up. Nobody was calling the penalty. Sidney Crosby goes over and goes, Oh, my face! I'm hurt! Oh, my face! And the referee goes, What? Sidney Crosby's hurt? Stop the game! Blow the whistle! Let's give Toronto another four minutes. And if Sidney Crosby is cut and bleeding, how is he on the ice right now? How can this be four minutes? So it's under review, as it should be under review, because he's not bleeding. Gosh, I'm getting fired up. I'm getting hot. If the officials are not going to call a penalty, you can't go and complain and say, uh... There's no blood at all. What is this going to be? Thank you. So the initial call stands. No penalty. But wait a second. Hold the phone here. I know that they were voting on the high stick challenge review for next season. I didn't know this was a rule for this season. What? <laughs> Chill pill. That prep, thank you so much. So I guess what they're saying is Bobby McMahon, even though he whacked Sidney Crosby in the face, he got the puck first and the puck hit him in the face. Stick was a follow through. I don't know what these guys are thinking. The Pittsburgh coach is like, everybody doesn't understand. <sighs> My goodness. Right, Mark. Right? I agree. That should totally be an embellishment. Last minute of play. Thank goodness. Oh. There was a heavy collision. Crosby and Matthews running into Crosby each other now. Matthews slow to get up. Crosby's lying down on the ice. Now they're both up. Sidney Crosby. My goodness. Oh, that was just... Matthews was coming one way, Crosby was going the other way. He couldn't see. Riley had Crosby completely blocked. So this this is purely accidental. And then Crosby got the worst of it. Boy, that's probably as hard as each of them has been hit this year. Remember that like coming calling roughing to the pass. Right, exactly, Sam. Exactly. With the puck. Chris, only on Toronto. <laughs> that was a big oopsie daisy. <laughs> Matthews should get a double. <laughs> you gotta be happy to see Matthews pop up after that one as well. 
This coming around, 43 seconds to go. Here comes the Leafs. Nye's going to turn back. He's going to pass this up. Everybody stopped skating when Nye's turned back. That was crazy. This coming down the ice. Marner can't catch up to it. Seth, what's going on? Congratulations, Seth. Marner going to steal, feeding it up. Here comes Nye's again, trying to cut through, and Latang is going to lift the stick and prevent that. What a bizarre play. What a bizarre period. TJ wants a wave. Let's get that wave going. Three, two, one. Hey, Samboni driver coming in. Tavares is down. The wave just starts. And the period has come to an end. All right, let's, uh, let's break this all down. Because I'm, uh, yeah, let's talk. All righty, here we go. A little bit of a better period. A little bit, just a wee little bit. 14 shots for Toronto, 19 now for Pittsburgh. 24 hits, Toronto, 22 for Pittsburgh. Face-offs, Pittsburgh is just a few ahead, 18 to 15. But look at those power plays. Five power plays for Toronto, or for Pittsburgh, excuse me. One, excuse me, for Toronto. And that one power play Toronto had was a very, very, very short power play. Very abbreviated. Uh, just crazy. Six giveaways, Pittsburgh. Five for Toronto. Seven takeaways, Toronto. Six for Pittsburgh. And the hit, or the block shots, 15 to 12 but it's crazy how did crosby not get an embellishment so what happened hang on one second let's go to the telestrator and <laughs> so what happened is the puck goes up in the air oh hang on in this reenactment you like my hair stylish in this reenactment i will play the role of Sidney crosby so what happened is the puck comes up in the air Ooh, look at that. The puck is in the air, right? Ooh. So here comes Bobby McMahon. Bobby McMahon says, I want to whack it. So he does one of these, right? Bobby McMahon coming with one of these. And so what happens, the puck is here. Let me get this in the frame. The puck is here. The stick from Bobby McMahon comes in, hits the puck. The follow through, what it looked like, the follow through came, and then the puck, bang, whack Crosby in the face. I actually got him in the chin. So on the follow through, the puck comes in, both whack him in the face. So that's why originally there was no call, right? So Crosby gets hit, stick, puck. Maybe I should hold it with this hand. Puck, meet, stick, right? Stick, puck, meet, face. Bam, it hits Crosby. So Crosby immediately, as you would if you get hit, your hands are going to go up on your face immediately, right? So right away, Crosby does one of these, oh, right? He got hit natural that's gonna happen then he turns and you can see him look at the ref and he doesn't see an arm up so he goes over and starts going like one of these like come on i got hit in the face so the referees come over and they talk about it and then they call oh don't forget to cry i i don't have i i don't have my teardroppers sandy what's going on welcome in glad to have you thanks for joining us we're we're illustrating the situation that happened with with William or with William Nylander with Sidney Crosby of course we spare no expense here on our illustrations and demonstrations so the puck comes in what the referee I'm assuming said is they kind of reviewed it and in order to to go for video review I'm wondering if they had to call it a four minute um, like double minor, in order to review it. I have to look up what the actual rules are because in the, at the general manager's conference, they talked about two new reviewable things for next year. One of them is the puck over the ice, right? When you flip it, they can review it to see if it went clean out. The other one is the high sticking um, to see, you know, and I thought it was just did a, the puck make contact. Maybe it was the penalty as well. But I'm assuming they called it a double minor so they could review it. Same as sometimes they'll give somebody a five-minute major in order to review it. 
but they went, they reviewed it, and they deemed in the replay the puck hit him in the face, not the stick. So a very, very bizarre, bizarre play. But Crosby, tough shift for him, right? Tough shift. He took that collision, took that shot, um, blocked the knee, uh, took the puck in the face, and then, of course, running into Matthews. Now, Matthews, luckily, Matthews was sideways a little bit. Crosby took that almost in the chest. So he came right into Matthew's shoulder. And, uh, well, thank you, Teresa. <laughs> Prep coming in, the $2 trick of the trade. Cut onions in the gloves. That's right, onions in the gloves. Thank you, Prep. <laughs> Uh, no onions on this stream or I will be rubbing my eyes for the next 25 minutes. Um, but a tough, tough, tough shift for Sidney Crosby, you know, getting banged around. Crosby, as much as he whines a lot to the officials, he is a good player. And uh, yes, shift, Richard, shift with the with the, with the F. Um, tough that to Crosby as well, but a tough shift. Is, uh, is is what he had. Um, he's trying to get this team to get in. Like, they're right there on the door. They are knocking on the door of the playoffs. Uh, if they can pull out a win today, they leapfrog over Detroit. If they pick up one point, they tie Detroit. And it's going to be an all-out battle. Don't forget, Washington and Philadelphia are also there trying to get in. So it is an absolute battle for these guys. And... Um, they want to see get in there. Sandy says, I'm a hockey freak. Sandy, you are in the right place. Because uh, we, we are all a little a little hockey crazy. And why are we all a little hockey crazy? It's not it's not because we're we're just crazy. It's there's a reason we're all hockey crazy. <laughs> XZ, welcome in. The reason we're all a little crazy, it's for this. Everybody wants it. You can't have it. I'm hanging on to it. For at least another couple of months. But this is what everybody is absolutely fighting for. And sometimes, this is what makes us go a little mad sometimes. Right? As, as it was said best in Scream 1, we all go a little mad sometimes. And that's why. Uh, the draw, we're going to do the draw towards the end of the intermission. We're going to do the draw towards the end of the intermission, so make sure you get a chance to enter and again huge thank you to AU Triton for doing that for us um sponsoring the giveaway $25 Amazon gift card in honor to celebrate um you know our channel and his channel and everybody we appreciate it uh the last game we gave away or sorry it was two games ago now what Leafs haven't scored in the first period in two games we gave away some hockey cards. We are going to continue that. We'll see tomorrow if they score in the first period. That was psycho. Chris, I think it's in a lot of movies, actually, to be honest. Um, but uh, it's it's we're just celebrating you. We're celebrating everybody. We want to thank everybody so much for their support on our channel. Uh, so we do the hockey cards. We've been giving those out. Uh, hopefully tomorrow the Leafs will score in the first period and we'll be able to do another one. Billy Loomis. There you go. Billy Loomis quoting Psycho. There you go. Billy Loomis. Oh, I can't wait for the next scream, by the way. I'm, I'm super excited they're making another one. I'm hooked as well. What sport in the world stops for a fight besides boxing and MMA? Phil, that's right. It's true. That's what, Lynn, listen, talking about fighting Ryan Reeves, we got to give props to Ryan Reeves. We've been hard on him all season long it's not just that we're crazy <laughs> yeah this okay maybe so i'm gonna leave that alone um yeah. ryan reeves he has been an absolute monster as of late i've been really really hard on him all year long but ryan reeves is crushing it right now we've posted a lot of his uh his fights recent fights up his shorts um, they're so exciting to watch. So if you've missed any of them, make sure to go and check out our Ryan Reeve fight short videos. I mean, they're what? Anywhere from 20 seconds to 45 seconds. Super, super good. Let's and uh, go. always exciting to watch over and over. 
Uh, Matthew, thank you for coming in, hitting that subscribe button. Much appreciated. Hall is better than Crosby. <laughs> As in Justin Hall? I hear the brawls at the Hobby House competitions get totally out of control. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, oh, sorry. Is it Matthew? Is that how you pronounce it? I think Toronto win this. I hope so. It would be nice to see. Victoria, welcome in. Welcome to the show. Uh, it is Matthew Nyes picked up the goal for Toronto. Uh, we are eight likes away from 150. If you haven't hit that thumbs up yet, hit that thumbs up. Also, last call. Last call to enter our giveaway. $25 Amazon gift cards. Some good competition in here. But there's still time, exclamation mark, go Leafs, to get your raffle ticket in. And we are going to pull that. We're going to pull that coming up in just a couple minutes. But hey, if we get those eight likes, we'll pull it right now. We'll do it early. Seven likes away. Seven likes away, and we will do it. Uh, it's going to be good. And very entertaining, Sam. The Crosby Sideshow. Listen, it's wild. We... I love, I love, I love when things get a little loopy, right? We, we see some bizarre things happen. It's going to happen a lot during the playoffs. It's going to happen a lot. Um, <laughs> Triton, good luck to you, sir. Uh, it's going to get a lot of loopy, and that's why we have a lot of fun here. You know, I love to be able to chit-chat with all of you. I'd love to be able to talk directly to you, answer your questions, and just have some fun. Just have fun. A whole lot of fun. That's what it's all about, right? We like our hockey. We love our hockey. That's why we're all here and gathered. If we can't laugh at ourselves and we can't laugh at each other, then what's the point? Go Leafs go. Let's have a blast. Let's have some fun. Five likes away. Five likes. We're going to pull it at the four-minute mark. Well, I better pull it a little earlier because uh, we might run out of time. I did kind of sort of see the eclipse. I will say... I was watching it. All right, all right, hockey from home. You can't come in with multiple, multiple accounts. It's kind of, kind of cheating, kind of cheating. Uh, but I appreciate the effort. Um, we watched the eclipse. I was watching the CNN coverage today. CNN did a fantastic job covering the eclipse as it came all the way across the states up to the Niagara region. Um, I went outside. We kind of tried to see it. It was really cloudy where we were. But it was cool, right? It got super dark. All the street, well, a couple of the street lights came on, and uh, that was cool. It was it was fun. So uh, I didn't get to see it live over my head, but uh, it was it was pretty pretty neat. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's pull it. We're gonna pull the winner. Good luck, everybody. Two likes. Come on, hit two likes. Two likes. Here we go. Thumbs up. Let's get some thumbs up if everybody's ready to win. No, no worries, hockey from home. No worries. It's all good. It's all good. All right, here we go. Good luck, one and all. $25 Amazon gift card. Nico, what's going on? Nico, I'll give you a second if you want to get into the giveaway. We're about to close it. Exclamation mark, go Leafs. Get in on that contest. We're literally about to close it and run it. We'll give him 10. Last call. Get your entries in. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Nico, you just got in there. Oh, good job. Good job. It is now closed. You can no longer enter. All right. The winner. It, oh, I didn't enter. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, let's pull this. And uh, I don't remember which is the right the right sound nope that, that's not the one okay here we'll go with that and the winner is winner Genyo <laughs> hockey from home hockey from home but it looks like it's your original account so we will keep that. We will we will let that one go. Congratulations, hockey from home. <laughs>
We'll let it slide because that was your original account. If it was one of the other accounts, we would have had to void them. But there you go. Hockey from home. So let's see. Victoria has to come in on her original account. Let's see. Oh, but Dan, that was the original account. If it was one of the, if it was number two or number three, we would have voided it. But that's the original account. So there we go. Oh, maybe it's not the original account. I'm confused. Oh, let me refresh this. We got, we got to make sure it's the original account. Controversy here. Controversy here. Yes, there, there it is. All right, Victoria, reach out to me on Instagram. Send me a message on Instagram, and we will, we will talk. We will talk. Congratulations. Can I challenge the call? No, listen, it's it's the original account. If it was if it was number 2 or number 3, if it was one of those secondary accounts, then we would have voided it. But this was a legit. So what we'll do, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I need to buy chips on Amazon <laughs> redraw. I'll tell you what. Let's do uh No, I'm going to hold on that. May, what's going on? Welcome back in. Hope you're doing well. We should be able to challenge the call. That's very funny. Congrats, hockey from home. Yeah, reach out to me on uh, on Insta, and we'll we'll set it up. More giveaways to come. More giveaways to come for sure. Our next massive giveaway, our big, big, big giveaway, is going to come up. Um, well, it's going to be in a little while. It's going to be in a little while because we're going to do it at 20,000 subscribe. Well, maybe we'll do one at 18. Should we do one at 18? We'll see when we hit 18. Maybe we'll do one for 18, but 20 is going to be the big, 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 big one. So that's what it's going to be. All righty. Uh, I'm just kidding. Congrats to the winner. There you go. Good sportsmanship. Good sportsmanship all the way around. <laughs> controversy coming through but we appreciate it we'll have lots more coming no 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 not twenty thousand dollars no 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 subscribers subscribers rod listen i would love nothing more than one day to be give away that kind of money but listen we're uh we're not mr beast over here yet <laughs> but we'll yeah we'll have at, at eighteen thousand subscribers and at twenty thousand subscribers we're gonna have a couple big, big, big giveaways coming. Uh, so make sure you spread the word and uh, tell your friends, hey, come and hang out because there's some big stuff coming. Again, big thank you to AAU Triton. We appreciate you so much. Uh, by the way, I did try the Mr. Beast um, chocolate bars today. Whatever they call are they the Feastables? They're actually pretty good. They are actually pretty good. Said yet, yeah, not Mr. Beast. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Snow. Hey, you never know. Uh, why did the... Whoop, where did it go? Why did the game board go back to the first period? Uh, says end of the second for me. I'm not sure. Maybe it kind of refreshed and updated. All right, let's uh, get back to the screen. Did you even play hockey? Yes. That hockey fan played hockey my entire life. Played it, coached it, all that fun stuff. Uh, love it. But we can be Mr. Beast. We're giving like Sam's car. Okay, mental note. If you ever meet up and hang out with Jonathan, keep your car keys away from him. He will sell your car. <laughs> He'll give your car away. Um, but yes, I did did play hockey. Played for a long time. Uh, I l oh, no, no. <laughs> that hockey fan. No, no, no. It's okay. Um... I would still be playing today if I could, but unfortunately, due to my neck injury with my uh, C4, 5, and 6, 7, I'm not able to, uh, to play anymore. 
Here we go, third period. Let's go. Pitter patter, let's get at her. How are you not, Mr. Bicio? It's that hair. Listen, Teresa, Teresa, it's all about the hair. Listen, I know, right? I mean, this is this is hours, hours of work to get it to be this crazy. <laughs> no, 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 that hockey fan, it's all good. I know what you meant. I know what you meant. Autocorrect is pretty crazy. Son, I don't mind them. I think Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh's claim to fame is kind of running out. I could hear you. That's right. This one is being chipped through. Can't come in. Toronto with it. Domi behind the net trying to bring this one around. Yeah, Mark, game is pretty good so far. Right on, and that's going to be held. Hayden, Pittsburgh wants overtime. They want to win. All they need is one point to tie. 24-7, what's going on? Welcome in. Hours of wearing the cap and helmet. Oh, Sandy. Nowadays, you'd be able to... Thinking it was going back the other way. So was uh, it is on Sportsnet One up here in Ontario. Sportsnet One. Leafs held the 14 shots through the first two periods. Just coming back around. Toronto holding it in. Willie in the corner. He's trying to come up with this one. Side of the net. Dragging this one around. Nylander with it. He's going to walk out in front. He gets taken down. What? Toronto is actually getting a full power play. Thank you, Teresa. So Eric Carlson, a little hack on Nylander. Nylander goes down. Toronto's actually going to get a power play here. I'm shocked. New Jersey, number four. So Sandy, number four is your number. My one of my one of my boys wears number four. Shocker for me. I was always number twelve. I know everybody's shocked to hear that. Let's get the wave going. Three, two, one. Hey. Quick shot and they score! Hey, Austin Matthews! 65 goals! There it is, Matthews now ties Alex Ovechkin's single season high among active players. Matthews! Jeff, what's going on? Welcome in. 65. Took him about three seconds off the face-off win, and he just blasted that. My goodness. As the wave starts, so does Austin Matthews. Crank that, Soldier Boy. What a shot. Coming out in front, Toronto still holding this in. Matthews coming down low, sending it around. Can't connect. Sending this Martyr coming through. Anastasia, what's going on? Perfect time to stop by. Number 65. Absolutely. Here's another blast from the point. See what happens when you shoot? When you shoot from far out, good things happen. 
Kavaris behind the net. He's going to wrap it around. Bobby McMahon in front can't get it to him. Carlson's going to break that one up. 17 minutes to go. Benoit has it. He's going to send this down low. Tavares doesn't catch up to Five left. Those five are going to be tough. We got two games against the Devils, the Wings, the Panthers, and the Lightning. That is the stretch the Leafs have over the next two weeks. Of course, if you're having fun tonight, we'll be right back here tomorrow to do it all again. Back to the line. Brody's going to hold this one in. Here's Ryan Reeves with a blast. If Ryan Reeves puts one in, oh my gosh, that would make my night. Side of the net for Reeves. Going to bank it off the boards to the line. Sending this down low. Dewar's going to get it. Can't get it. Kemp, he does. He cycles it back to the line. Here's a wrist shot. That one gets knocked down in front. Penn's going to turn on it. Carrying this over into the Leafs zone. Brody hacks on it, gets knocked down, stopping. Nice move there by Brody to create some space. Going to work it through. Again, the strangest thing she's ever seen because I just jumped up and did a little dance. <laughs> Teresa, that's awesome. And John Tavares with his 60th point on the assist. Nothing like jumping up and doing a little dance in front of the TV. That was me last night at the end of WrestleMania, I tell you. Maddie gets a hattie. And that doggy bag. Coming in front, Toronto bringing this one back down. Riley deep in the corner, trying to pull this one through. He got up and left the room. <laughs> back to the line, Toronto holds it in. They're hammering this right back down. Holmberg putting this one through. Pittsburgh moving it up. Nice job by Toronto to pinch and hold in. Here's Holmberg. Holmberg driving to the net with the backhand. And Nadalkovic is going to hang on to that one and say, uh-uh, I've had enough. Goal number 65. You know, when you're on that right point, not often. Usually it's a pass. So Tavares just wins this cleanly back. Making sure everyone's in position. I, I think this is what surprised Nedeljkovic. That and it was just right there. Matthews, right it was kind of a weird slap shot. It was kind of an off-balance, one-footer. He had his right foot up in the air, all the weight on the left. And he just absolutely crushed that. My dog hates hockey because I hate her. Oh, Daryl. on the power play. By the way, I do want to take a moment and just call out because it's there in the chat. We do have a new Patreon. So if you're looking for a way to support us offline outside of YouTube, you can join our new Patreon. We got four different levels. And the good thing about Patreon is uh, we don't have to pay the YouTube cut. YouTube takes a big portion of all the memberships and donations and whatnot. So Patreon is a way to do it uh, where more of the money you guys send actually comes through to the channel. And we're going to do a bunch of behind-the-scenes and exclusive content specifically for Patreon. So definitely make sure to check it out. Damn well be 12 experience on Patreon. Link is pinned in the pinned message if anybody was interested. Thank you so much. Gerard, what's going on? Welcome in. Good to see you. Pass coming up. Here comes Bertuzzi. <clears throat> Going to throw this across. Here's Domi with a shot. Nice shoulder save. Coming around. Peterson playing this around. Pittsburgh. They're going to flip this up and down the ice. Gets knocked down by Riley. Riley. Cross ice. Here we go. Tavares coming up. Jumping in. He has it knocked away. Riley back to pick this one up. Up and off the boards, Marner to Tavares. Tavares coming in. McMahon driving to the net. Tavares can't back pass it for Marner. This coming all the way down. Labushkin going to pick this one up. Flips this off the boards. Back to the line. Here's a shot right on. Nice save. This going to be cleared to the line, not out. Held in by Latang. Back around to Labushkin. Labushkin going to play this one through. Crosby banking it off the boards, back to Latang. Tanger plays it right back up. 
Here comes Brian Russ with it. He's cycling around. Just under 13 minutes to go. Toronto came all the way back. Shots are 21-20. Thank you, Sandy. I appreciate that so much. We just like to have fun. The problem is if we did it for real, we wouldn't be able to bring all of you with us. We got a hand. Crosby screaming at the officials. He's fired up. Polly, how's it going? Let's put my wife in a different room. Polly, usually, uh, you know, I, I get it. I get it. All right, they're going to go to commercial break as Crosby is hot on that hand pass. This third period has been a nice period here for Toronto. They've been finding a way of getting it going. Matthews picking up number 65, if you missed it. Matthews, 65. That one was from John Tavares. Six shots in this period for Toronto, only two for the Penguins. And this was a big one. With that goal, Matthews scored. He does match Alex Ovechkin for the highest single season total among active players and six to become the ninth 70 goal scorer. Well, I guess he only needs five more now uh, to become a 70 goal scorer, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Matthew Knives became the third Maple Leaf rookie in the past seven years with 15 goals. That's pretty good. He joins Michael Bunting and Andreas Janssen, who also accomplished that feat. So three rookies in the past seven years to get 15 goals for Toronto. Evgeny Malkin, uh, he collected assists on the Pens' first goal and boosted his career totals to 24 and 45 in 46 games against Toronto. 69 points in 46 games against Toronto. The only active player with more points against the Maple Leafs is Alex Ovechkin. So interesting there. Malkin continuing to pick up and do some pretty darn good things. Uh, the Penguins have scored the opening goal in each game during their current four-game winning streak. So the Pens have been hot, hot, hot. But these guys have been playing real good. Maybe Crosby needs a diaper. <laughs> now the question, would he go straight to the pull-ups or would he need the trainer to strap him in? <laughs> He's still yelling, Crosby. They're coming back from commercial break. Blue Jays with a 4 nothing lead here if top of the 6th of you get a goal. And They're playing well. Official that was in the corner didn't blow the whistle. Guys will become a strong power there. forward. Mark, I agree. I agree wholeheartedly. Exactly what that one was. Women's but World Cup, Canada, USA tied 0 0. Four minutes to go in the third. The wow. Yeah, it sure did, didn't it? I, I don't blame him because Crosby. Should we do, should we do some there. double coverage? Should we see if we can. Uh, icing happens, no surprise. Should we look at the. Let's see if we can find that game and maybe do some double coverage here. Crosby at 17.04 so far tonight. See what happens. Canada and U.S. always a good game when they get together. Ends up on the stick to Brody. Here's Bertuzzi. A flip to center. Bert's going to send this all the way down. See if we get that game. We approach the eight-minute mark of the third period. Reached by Matthews to deflect that to Nagy to Nicing. Pedersen We're going to get some double. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So we're going to get some double coverage with the Canada women's and U.S. women's tied at zeros coming to the end of the third period. We're going to do some double coverage here and keep you updated with what's going on in that game. We love our IIHF hockey, our international hockey. And, of course, the women have been so good. So we'll be watching both. And keeping you updated on what's going on. Thank you, Dallas, for bringing that to our attention. 2-1 Toronto. And it looks like, actually, we have an illegal hit called in the women's game. So the U.S. take a penalty for an illegal hit. So Canada on the power play here against the United States for two minutes. Here's a blast, and that's going to go wide. Canada has possession, setting it up in the U.S. zone. 
Here's a wrist shot from the point, knocked down in front. Canada 24 shots on net, the U.S. 21 well, the shots. Game, Battling U.S. being very aggressive here, going high off the glass. Tampa, Canada can't hold that one in. All the way down, 333 to go again. The U.S. picking it up. They're going to clear again. Here comes Toronto now. The puck is dropped. Tavares in heavy on the forecheck. Steals it. Coming in front for Marner. Just hops over his stick. Back to the line. Brody up to Marner. Marner to Tavares. Great save. Here comes Malk in the other way. Canada bringing it back in the U.S. zone. Coming in front. Canada can't get a shot off U.S. They're going to clear this out again. Pittsburgh has it behind their own goal, as does Shelton for Canada. She's on the move up the ice as Malkin comes up for Pittsburgh. Going to drop this one back to the line. Cross ice pass. Pittsburgh just holding it in. The U.S. again taking this away. They're going to the line. Canada holding it in. U.S. strips it. U.S. one-on-one. -on -one. It's a race for it. Flipping it across. Breakaway. U.S. coming in. Great save by the Canadian netminder. Keeping it tied at 0-0. And here's Toronto Dewar with a shot that's going up and out of play. We got dual streaming here. Leafs in Pittsburgh, Canada, and U.S. IIHF. International hockey and the U.S. coming close. <laughs> Teresa, I am glad to have an amazing group of people to listen to all my nonsense. So, same Z's. <laughs> Thank you, Vaughn. Yeah, we'll keep you updated. Whenever we have games on the same night, we'll make sure to keep it included. That hockey fan, what's up? This is going to come out. Whistles blown down. Hey, Pittsburgh for some good poutine. Who doesn't love a good poutine? And Mike Sullivan not wasting any time. Gets the Crosby's line right back out there. Defense's own face off. Another important one. So you got Matthews against Crosby. We got whistles in both games here. Match up through this third. Canada versus U.S. I'm out. <laughs> Prep coming in with a gifted membership. And congratulations, Teresa. You have won a gifted membership. And thank you so much, Prep. Dick taps all the way around. Is there going to go to a commercial break? Can I do this? Can we flip-flop? There we go, a little flip-flop. Canada, U.S., 135 to go. Dick taps in for prep. For prep. Canada in front. Oh, an empty net. And they put it just wide. 120 to go. Canada coming close. Jeremy, welcome in. From Pittsburgh, love the Leafs. Jeremy, you must be torn on nights like this. Canada back to the line. And that's great playing back and forth. Canada, U.S. so close. I got a hockey card collection addiction, and I just picked Zach Benson. A black and white canvas, excellent, nice one. Last minute of play in the Canada U.S. World Women's Championship. This is the third period, Lucas. 40 seconds to go. U.S. now with the puck. Long pass. Here comes the United States. Going to dump this one in. All right, let's go back to the Leafs. Power play goal against Tampa. Tavares taking a look at Matthews. Got it back. 
They're just showing the Matthews replay. Don't worry, they didn't, didn't just score again. 15 seconds to go. U.S. has it in the Canada, and they come through. Canada knocking it down. They're going to flip this out. Under 10 seconds to go. All off the stick of number 91 over... And the horn is going to go. The third period has come to an end. Canada and U.S. tied at zero. The end of the third period. So I think we're going to get some overtime. I'm not sure what the rules are for their tournament. William Needlander on this faceoff. Needlander wins the draw. Mark Giordano. Here's a shot. Nye's in front. Can't get a piece of it. On a ricochet into the slot. Look out. That deflecting. Over the late bench Mark, the I bet a lot. I'm not going to lie. I was peeking, but I know it was super cloudy. All right, we got overtime coming up here. Canada, U.S. overtime. They're going to a commercial break first. Three, we're technically covering three games right now. We got the Leafs and Pens. We got the Blue Jays and Mariners. We got Canada and U.S. When I say we got you covered, we got you covered. Toronto. Trying to get it out. Pittsburgh is shot on it. It's knocked down. McMahon is going to kick it up. Here comes Bobby. Bobby Mack going to dump this one in. Trying to get around in the corner. Little banging and crashing. Pointing it over. Back to Benoit, feeding it across. Here's a blast. Goes just wide. Toronto knocks it in. No. Goes just wide. I thought Marner knocked that one in. That was close. <laughs> Bobby Mack can dump this one in. Stolen by Pittsburgh. Nine minutes to go here in the third period. Here's a shot by O'Connor. Another shot. Get O'Connor actually there. Good thing the Raptors are off tonight. No kidding. Okay, Dallas, they're so bad this year, we wouldn't bother. <laughs> One stop shop. That's right, Mark. So, icing in this game. We're getting ready for overtime with Canada and the U.S. Women's World Championships. Are they going to do overtime or do they do a sh go right to a shootout? I'm not sure what their uh, rules are in in this tournament. Did you see recalls? No, I didn't, Paulette. Sam should start up his own sports channel. <laughs> Too expensive for the rights. <laughs> Here's a shot right on and a nice save. Oh, you're into badminton. I love badminton. I'm terrible at badminton, but I love it. It's such a great game. If you're just coming in and joining us, welcome in. Make sure you hit that like button, but hit that subscribe button as well. Nowhere else is covering the three games at once for you. So hit that subscribe. Help us get to 15 620. Pittsburgh winning the draw. Eight and a half to go. Coming across. Pittsburgh in front with a shot. Just wide. Almost made me do my little victory dance for nothing, Sam. I don't mind looking at the for a reason. <laughs> we got five minutes of overtime. Here comes Brody. Brody bringing this back. Playing it across. Domi. He can't get the shot off. Pittsburgh coming back the other way. Here's Bertuzzi across. U.S. getting a first shot on that in overtime. Very nice save there by the Canadian keeper. Raquel. Plays back in action. U.S. has it in the Canadian zone. Back to the line, hanging on to it. Three on three action here. Canada going to knock this one down. They're going to play it ahead. Canada, bad passing. And here they come. I didn't realize in the uh, women's IHF they play three on three overtime. And here comes the U.S. breaking in two on one. U.S. feeding it across. They shoot. Great save by the Canadian keeper. From the point, another blast. Glove save. Rebound. Another save. Oh, my goodness. This goaltender for Canada is outstanding. The U.S. with four chances there. They still have the puck. They're going to bring this out. One minute gone in overtime. Holy moly. Camp on the draw, he'll win a face off in the offensive zone. 
This one, Toronto, back in the Pittsburgh zone, coming around. Another save by the Canadian keeper. And here comes Canada. Canada stealing the puck. Race down the right-hand side. Is that Natalie Spooner coming in? She's going to cycle around. Backhand across. Canada coming in. Another cut. Canada can't get the shot off. Pittsburgh bringing it to Toronto. Canada in the slot. They shoot. What a block. Spooner goes down. The U.S. picking up three on one for the U.S. Spooner trying to get back. One U.S. player pulls off. Canada coming back to break it up. What an effort. Back. U.S. have it. Holy moly. And the leaves trade for Phil. She's outstanding. She's been great. Here comes the U.S. again, pulling up, turning around. U.S. starting to set it up down low in the Canadian zone. Bad pass. It's a race. Spooner, the end of her shift. She's going to outrace everyone and pick it up. She gets taken down. She's going to peel to the bench. She's gassed. Pittsburgh winning another draw. Cycling around. Here comes the U.S. through. And that's going to be deflected into the glass. 6.44 to go here in Toronto. Pittsburgh trying to work it through, but here comes Canada. Big bump there behind the net. U.S. going to pick this up. Canada is lucky here in overtime. The U.S. has been handing it to them. Pittsburgh setting it up. Here's a blast. Pittsburgh in the crease. They score. The Penguins tie it up. The Penguins tie it up. With 6.22 to go in the third period, Pittsburgh scores. With two minutes left in overtime in a 0-0 game, the U.S. have the puck. Here comes the U.S. playing it through. From the goaltender. Watch, he's trying to shoot to an area that he knows he has support. McCabe can't quite get inside on O'Connor, and he's able to not only stop that puck from going. Here they come, Canada team. driving in with 132 to go. Of the year for Long pass, that's going to miss everybody. It's going to be icing against there. Toronto, and here comes the U.S. They shoot, they score. Yeah, the USA wins it in overtime with 122 to go on the clock. The Canada netminder, what an effort, but the U.S. women, just too much for them to handle. My 10-year-old niece would like me to tell her quote of the day from school. To the world, you may just be one person, but to the one person, you may be the world. Teresa, that couldn't be more true. Doesn't it say a lot too? Even that is a very Connor intelligent quote. The goal there, but Crosby's had so many different wingers. They're going to go so to commercial break. Ways. The Canadian women defeated by Team USA as they had so many odd women rushes in overtime. Actually, hold on. This is controversy here. The Canadian player was tripped in the corner. No call made. This should not be a goal. There's always controversy in the Canada-U.S. game. The Canadian player had the puck in the corner. The U.S. player stuck out the stick and hauled her down with a trip. No call was made. U.S. comes down three on one and scores. So while the U.S.A. wins, this goal should not be a goal due to a blown call. So again, the international officials... Blow it, and it costs Canada the game. That is terrible. Absolutely terrible. Why does this always happen between Canada and U.S.? Why is there always a blown call? Unbelievable. Congratulations to the U.S. women. Ryan, you got to tone it down, bud. You're, I don't mind if you cheer for your teams, but listen, enough... Enough with the country bashing. You want to cheer for the U.S.? Go right ahead. I'm more than happy because, listen, Canada, if they won, I would be saying go Canada. But you don't have to put down other people's countries. That is not allowed here. Because the U.S. has more money. Now, a big win for the USA women. 
any time they get together, whether it's the women, the men, any time Canada and the U.S. plays against each other, it is outstanding hockey. We absolutely love, love, love being able to cover some of them. But I hate to see games end with a missed call like that. Just not a good ending. But let's see how this is going to turn around. Can the Leafs come out on top now? There you go. That's okay, Ryan. You can do USA, USA. That's no problem. Oh. On the captain's month. You're wondering how many. Yeah, great game. The Canadian women so good. Natalie Spooner giving it, it all. They were all giving it their all. Right we love it. He has assisted on goals by 108 different players. Now, Matthews loses the draw. Goals. Shot right on and knocked down. Matthews going to come He's away with it. Passes share. it up. Domi can't get there. Two David, what's going on? Yeah, up. side by side. Two points from top Always top some great, top. great hockey. He's going for 70, Shop Girl says. Domi going to bring this one in. Down low in the corner. All the way back. Leaf setting it up. Pass across. They can't come through. Matthews trying to drive this one down in the corner. Yeah, right, Peter? It absolutely should have been. Pittsburgh coming around. Pittsburgh with it. During our last break, it comes around, and here's Nylander going to work. He's four away Willie from trying to pick this up. Willie's had some some trouble. Up by Crosby at the so line. I think it's just the round robin games right now. So I think it's just the round robin, if there's I'm not mistaken. Here's a jam play coming in. By Samsonov. A good read again by Samsonov. You, you know with Crosby how quick. But let me double check because I'll be honest, I haven't actually watched a lot of these games from this tournament. Not only gets the deflection, but able to get a chance for a rebound. But that's tight against the post are the arms and shoulders of Samsonov. He calmly makes that save and able to hold on. Yeah, so the quarterfinals still up to come. So no problem. Canada will will go on. Stepping up on him was St. Ivan. He reaps, ties up his fan, and camps in. Do they come across? Putting it on. Can't tap it in. Camp was loose in front, but pass doesn't arrive quickly enough. St. Ivan down. Able to work that loose. A large Eller. Off the official, Riley Smith, able to clear. Got to 29-22, Pittsburgh. Nylander with the move, four, four left on the clock. William Nylander, that hit the traffic in front. This Nyes was tied up by Shea. Dipped in by Riley. And now Malkin, an area pass. It's a break. Can Bunting get there? No, he can't. Toronto getting there first. Raquel swings it in front. Here's Malkin, on it. Malkin with it. Malkin spinning around. Back in, Bunting, tapped it in front. In front, this coming around. Malkin keeping it in. Shot. Oh, nice save. Okay, man, what's up? It goes overtime. Give two points. Toronto Pens are horrible in overtime. Hey, they only need one to tie, right? One point to tie Detroit. Obviously, two is better. But they're right neck and neck with the wings right now. Here they come. Marner going to pull this one away. Mitch is skating it up. Mitch has been awfully quiet. White trash guy, what's going on? Welcome in. Penn's going to send this up. Penn's one of the hottest teams right now in the league. Coming back from 10 games back. Let's go! Damn, we gonna hang it in. Thank you for hitting that subscribe. Much, much, much appreciated. Down around, coming around in front. Knocked down. Pittsburgh is on the move. Two on two. Gonna flip it around. Brody. Riley getting back there. Carter gonna put him into the boards. Carlson keeping it in temporarily. Now they cycle it around behind the net. Riley, dangerous pass to Matthews. Matthews gets it to the line, and it comes out. 
Ken sending it back in. Two minutes, 20 seconds to go here in period number three. Welcome in. Thanks for joining us. What a hockey game we have here. Here comes Riley. Riley going to carry this one up, dumping it in. Tipped into the pen zone. Tanger, he's going to work this one up. They're going to just tip this one in. Benoit is going to go back for it. Here comes Raquel. Raquel going to bang into him. Stealing it away. Matthews trying to help out. Malkin back there as well. Comes free. Here's Domi. Domi with it. Him and Bertuzzi are on the move. Domi hits the red line and dumps this one in. Down in the corner. Here comes Malkin. I know I'm missing a lot of your comments. I do apologize. But as this game heats up, we want to make sure to cover it. Here comes David Kemp. Kemp getting some late minutes here. Going to throw it in. And Nadalkovic cuts this one down. 120 to go. Third period action. Toronto with it. Playing it up the middle. Tipped over. Dewar is going to dump this in. Reeves giving chase. When was the last time we saw the fourth line on in the last two minutes? Putting a lot of confidence in this line. Showed a little faith in that fourth line on a tough match. Toronto has it in the neutral zone. Nylander going to flip this up. And Riley going to dump this one in. Coming around the boards. Holmberg can't get there. <laughs> Nylander has it go off the skate. Lars Eller was coming in there. Riley gets there first. Benoit, he's knocked off the puck. Toronto just going to flip this up, getting it down. Cam XY, what's up? Welcome in. Here's Toronto trying to pick this one up. If you're just coming in, make sure you hit that like button for us. Hit that subscribe as well. 25 seconds to go. We'll be back tomorrow as well for the game Leafs and the New Jersey Devils. So make sure to set your notifications. Toronto back with it. Cross ice. Willie, let's go, Willie. Off the boards. 10 seconds to go. Harder than that, Willie. He gets the puck. Willie coming in. Feeds it up. Mc McMahon. Four seconds to go. Three seconds to go. He's not going to get a shot on net. He gets tackled in the corner. And we are going to overtime. Unbelievable. We are going to OT. One shall stand. One shall fall. What a game this has been so far. <clears throat> Back and forth. Back and forth. It is officially time. Wow. So they're going to take a quick moment here. Welcome in one and all. Let's get our little overtime up here. There it is. A little overtime coming up. But welcome to the show. If you're just joining us again, thank you so much for hitting that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe. We are your go-to destination for NHL play-by-play -play, Maple Leafs coverage. We got the Blue Jays coverage as well going on tonight. We just saw the U.S. women defeat the Canadian women in the IIHF Canadian World Women's Championship. We got you covered across the board, so make sure to subscribe and hang out. We'll see you again tomorrow night, but let's get through overtime. This is going to be a big one. Pittsburgh picks up one key point. They are now officially tied with Detroit. For that last playoff spot, that last playoff wildcard spot, if they can pull out a win here today, whether it's in this overtime or in the shootout, and pick up the second point, they will jump over Detroit and be tied with the New York Islanders for third place in the Met. So, boy, oh, boy, the Pens getting antsy. They are looking to pick this one up. Playoff implications every single night and that's what we love about this time of year. It's all about this. It's all about the cup. And the next two weeks of hockey are going to be intense for these teams like the Red Wings, like the Penguins, like the Capitals, like the Flyers, all trying to get there. The Oilers trying to catch Vancouver. Vegas trying to hang on. Great hockey all the way around. Love it. Now, here we go. Roberto, welcome in. Let's go. Listen, Richard, hey, doesn't matter if it's a cardboard cutout. It's my cardboard cutout. <laughs> this is from back in the day when they had the orange and the logo. It's my cup, and I love it. So here we go. 
over time. Matthews, Domi, Riley to start it all up for Toronto. Here we go. Five minutes on the clock. Yes, Krista, we will be streaming every night during the playoffs for the most part, sometimes twice a night. There are two nights I know of right away I won't be able to stream Pittsburgh in front, but we will be here most nights. Joseph, I want Toronto to win. I want Toronto to win. But part because I'm a Leaf fan, but part of me wants to see Pittsburgh get in there. It's playoffs now for some. It is. Here's Marner coming in. Can't pull the plug. Here's spinning it around. Willie with it. Willie coming in. Willie all alone. Willie going in. Great save, Nadalkovich. My goodness. Side of the net. Digging it through. Willie still with it. Excellent play there. D. Jones, what's going on? Welcome in. Marner playing this down deep to Brody. Brody with it. Back to the line for Marner. This comes out. Wesley, welcome. Welcome in, everybody. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you. Hitting that subscribe, Kevin. Appreciate it. Toronto bringing this back in. Matthews in the corner. He's trying to walk out of the corner. One-handed flipping it to the line. And Toronto was almost in the middle of a line change. They had to decide. Here's McCabe. He scores. Jake McCabe, your OT hero. Jake McCabe putting it in for Toronto. McCaber is your hero. Matthews feeding him the puck. What a play. As this was almost too many men on the ice as it was coming to the line. Marner was heading off. The new player was heading on. They had to stop and wait. Marner stays on. He keeps it in. It was Bertuzzi that actually jumped off the ice. Bertuzzi had actually hopped on. Marner hadn't gotten off yet. Bertuzzi with a heads up play to jump back on the bench. It comes to Matthews. He puts it across to McCabe. McCabe just walks in, going right, left, in a nice little deke and puts it in. There you go, Ryan. Nice play. Again, heads up move by Bertuzzi to stay off the ice. Toronto takes this one home. Wow. Let's go. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, everybody, hitting those subscribes. We appreciate it. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m., right back here. Holy moly, let's go through all the stats, all the goal scores, let you know what's up, what's good. First, we got to do it. Before they post their own, we got to do our own. Where's the sound? We got to play the sound. Hang on. Here we go. And now, the three stars of the game. Three stars for tonight's game. We're taking a quick peek at these stats. <coughs> you know what? We're going to give Nedeljkovic star number three tonight. Nedeljkovic played really, really, really good. Toronto should have blown this game wide open. He made some, some big-time saves. Star number two tonight is going to go, we're going to give it to Jake McCabe. McCabe's going to get star number two for scoring that overtime goal. And Austin Matthews picking up star number one for number 65 on the season. Absolutely incredible. Richard, thank you so much. Okay, here is, oh, there's the official three stars. They give it to Raquel Matthews and McCabe. All right, two out of three ain't bad. Let us take a look at the goal scores for tonight's game. It all started with Ricard Raquel right at the end of period number one. He gets his 14th of the year from Malkin. Period number two, it was Matthew Nyes getting his 15th from Brody and Riley. And of course, Knives now the third Maple Leaf rookie in the last seven years with 15 goals. Nice job, Matthew Nyes. Austin Matthews cracked open the third period on the power play with his 65th goal of the year. Right off the draw, clean win from John Tavares. Matthews blasted that one. Drew O'Connor then stuffs it in, picking up his 14th of the year 
from Joseph and Crosby. And then in overtime moments ago, Jake McCabe puts it in from Matthews and Marner. Unbelievable, believable, believable game. Leafs stick it to Dubas and Spezza yet again. The Leafs take the season series now two games to one. The overall stats, 31 shots for Pittsburgh, 23 for the Maple Leafs. The Leafs actually take the faceoff percentage 50.9%. Now this is where things get a little skewed. One for two, Toronto goes 50% on the power play. The Pittsburgh Penguins, 0 oh for five. The Penguins, five power plays tonight. They could not muster a goal. Pretty crazy. The officials were a little meh tonight. Uh, I'd like to check out my card. I pulled my... All right. Okay, uh, let's see here. 31 hits apiece. Wow, they actually tied, evened it out. 31 hits apiece for each team. 20 block shots for Pittsburgh. That's a huge number. 14 block shots for the Maple Leafs. 11 giveaways. Not a good number. Not a good number for Toronto. 11 giveaways. 8 giveaways for Pittsburgh. 9 takeaways Toronto. 6 takeaways for Pittsburgh. And that is your final stats of the hockey game. This was a big one. Again, Pittsburgh picking up one point, tying them now with Detroit. Um, we're going to see Detroit coming up here next, or on Saturday night, actually. We're going to get to see Detroit. Coming up tomorrow, it's the New Jersey Devils versus the Maple Leafs. That is going to be an awesome game. Actually, it's a home and home with the Devils tomorrow and Thursday. We'll have both of them for you, and we hope we'll see you there. Thank you to all of our moderators for doing an amazing job, as always, fighting the good fight. Thank you guys so much. This was a ton, a ton of fun. Thank you to AU Triton for sponsoring our Amazon gift card giveaway. Really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, let's let's leave Ryan alone. Uh, no worries. Let's leave him alone. Uh, but what a great, great day. Uh, the day before my birthday. Chris, today's the day before your birthday? Well, then hopefully we will see you tomorrow. Uh, you can't beat the Panthers in regular season playoffs. Oh, D Ryan, much you have to learn, my friend. We'll see you all tomorrow. Again, thank you, Mods, for everything. Thank you to our gifters tonight for supporting us with gifted memberships and super stickers and super chats. AU Triton, Chris. Jacob, who is actually Bruce and Val, I can prep. Thank you all so much. And again, Triton, for that giveaway. So much fun. We look forward to seeing you here tomorrow night, 7 p.m. Make sure to set your reminders and your notifications. Let's hope we're going to make Teresa do a lot of dancing tomorrow and the Leafs can take a big one against the Devils. I hope you all have a wonderful night. Let's watch the end of the Blue Jays because they're still up 4-1. to one. Good night, everybody. Have a great one, and we'll see you real soon. Go Leafs go, and you're welcome.